In 1851, Greek entrepreneurs Raleigh Brothers set up their trading business of jute and cotton in Calcutta. A century later, on the 23rd of August 1948, Raleigh's India Limited was incorporated and it continued its trading activities in agri-commodities, soon expanding to distribution and manufacturing of pesticides and fertilizers as well. Tata Fison, a venture by the Tata Group in Fison, UK, partnered with the Government of India in successfully eradicating malaria during the 1960s. Rallies became part of the Tata Group when Tata Fison acquired rallies in 1962 with a vision of serving the Indian farming community. With the celebration of the 75th year of inception, Rallies continues its journey of serving farmers through science while transforming Indian agriculture. The Rallies Innovation and Chemistry Hub at Bengaluru develops innovative solutions to service its domestic and international crop care customers. Rally's seeds business is developing hybrids to address the climate challenges of Indian agriculture while leveraging biotechnology to upgrade traits that address insect resistance, herbicide tolerance and drought tolerance. Rally's manufactures technical grade agrochemicals and formulations at its state-of-the-art facilities at Akola, Lote, Ankleshwar, The Hage SEZ and CZ. Rallies has made significant investments in modernization of existing facilities, building flexible manufacturing capacities and pilot plants for expanding its crop care business. Keeping in mind the goal of 30% reduction in carbon footprint by 2030, Rallies continues to invest in sustainability initiatives across its manufacturing units. Rallies Seeds business has extensive grower outreach for seed production in multiple states of India and is well supported by the processing facilities based in Hyderabad. Rallies serve select global farming communities directly and through its global partners. Rallies leadership positions in selected products are being leveraged through capacity expansion, building new partnerships and increasing the share of business from its existing partners. To tap supply diversification strategies emerging from global agrochemical peers, Radies has engaged with multiple partners for contract manufacturing services, leveraging its proven manufacturing capabilities, EHS assurance and ethical business practices. Quality management systems with NABL accreditation assures quality of the products. Digital preparedness has been at the forefront of Rally's Future Ready strategy. Rallies continues to focus on building artificial intelligence, remote sensing, big data analytics, smart manufacturing and demand forecasting models to de-risk the supply chain. The implementation of the supply chain solutions like integrated business planning and transportation management system has resulted in improved supply chain resilience and operational efficiency. Dr. Vishwas, the Farmer Advisory Helpline, Rally's Krishi Samadhan app, social media presence through Facebook, YouTube and Instagram, supports digital engagement with the farming community. In FY 2023, the efforts were recognized on several platforms such as FIKI, NASCOM, CII and many others. Rally's India thrives on the proficiency of its employees, channel partners and vendors who continue to work efficiently towards creating food security and promoting sustainable agriculture in the country. An enabling work environment has made Rally's a great place to work. As a part of the Tata Group, Rally strongly believes in the ethos of improving the quality of lives of the community. The strong volunteering culture of Rally's employees strengthens that CSR activity. At 75, Rallies, with its belief of rooted in values seeding growth, is engaged in near-term aspirations of repositioning itself towards leadership. Rallies ka 75 years ho gaya hai, jo ki congratulation. Hum log bhi Tata Company ke saath rahe. अजूर के रहेंगे और कोशिश रहेगा कि बहुत आगे ले कंपनी लेकर चलेंगे रैली परिवार को 75 साल हो गए थी बधाई 75 साल मुबारक हो ये टाटा रैली के 75 वर्ष आगे थे नम्म कुटुंब दवरिंद आर्थिक शुभाशयगळो के 75 वर्षा शुभाशयगळो टाटा रैली कंपनी को 75 साल हो चुके हैं 
मैं भगवान से ये प्रार्थना करूँगा कि ये करीब ये कंपनी डेढ़ सौ दो सौ तीन सौ साल तक चले और बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद टाटा रिलीज कंपनी का टाटा रिलीज कंपनी का पंचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्ण जाए मजाकड़ मजा कुटुंबाकड़ू आजा नातेवाईक खूब खूब शुभेच्छा पिचहत्तर साल हो चुके हैं हम इनको बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद देते हैं नमा देश है कंपनी पचहत्तर साल पूरा होने पर बहुत बहुत बधाइया कंग्रेचुलेशन फॉर द सेवेंटी फाइव इयर या कंपनी का पंचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्ण कंपनी चाहिए आम्मी तो आम परिवार तर्फे अभिनंदन करो हजारों साल पर्यत मार्गदर्शन करो एपत् वर्ष पूरेसी सह मुंदते धन्यवाद शुभाशय रैलीज इंडिया का ये सेवेंटी फाइव इयर ओल्ड पूरा हुआ है इसके लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई हो और हम सब दिल से जान से रैलीज इंडिया को प्यार करते हैं पंचहत्तर वर्षापसन जी शतक बीआईने तैयार करना चाहिए जे शीड्स काड़ला है तो आम्मी सदव तीशी जोड़े रहू आ जी आम शतक बीआईने वगैरह ये पुराने की सुविधा के लिए बदल मी टाटा रैलीज कंपनी का आभारी है धन्यवाद देते इस रैलीज परिवार के साथ ये जो पचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्व हुए हैं कंपनी के मैं चाहता हूँ हजारों पचहत्तर पूर्व हों और मेरा परिवार मेरे बाद भी सारा सब लोग रैलीज परिवार से ही जुड़ा रहे और इस रैलीज परिवार को हम आ, सब परिवार धन्यवाद करते हैं इंडिया लिमिटेड डेबाई संवस पूर्ति सदर्भंग श्रीराम फर्टिलइर्स एंड पेस्टाइड कार्यक्रम तरफ शुभाकांक्ष अंदर भागस्वाम्यों अगर मैं चला सतोषिस्ट भारत देश रईता की डेबई संवसाल सेवल डेबई वसंत पूर्ति शुभ सदर्भ में रैलीस इंडिया लिमटेड वार आर एनआर श्री साईचंद्र खम तरफ प्रत्येक शुभाकांक्ष शुभाभिनंदू टाटा रीस कंपनी ना नमक उत्पत्ल अभिवृद्धि की तोडपड़न डेबई ऐसी संवस वार्षिकोत्सव सदर्भंग आ कंपनी की शुभाकांक्ष अंदे थैंक यू टाटा रीस कंपनी डेबई ऐसी संवस पूर्ति चेसक सदर्भ में भारत देश नच्चना कंपनी टाटा रीस कंपनी कंग्राचुलेषन टाटा रीस कंपनी गत डेबई संवस टाटा रीस क्वालिटी अंदर भागस्वाम इन संवस इंडस्ट्री It's indeed a proud moment for us to be associated as a channel partner and a family member with this esteemed organization for more than 40 years now. We wish Team Rallies many more glorious years in the near future to come. Rallies indeed, it will be a joint effort for our people. It will be a lot of awesome support for you all. 26 years in the world. और ये मेरी प्रियंटल कंपनी है इसी से मैंने अपना बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया था और आज भी इसी से कर रहा हूँ और मैं रैलीज को पचहत्तर वर्ष पूरे होने पर बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूँ In 1851, Greek entrepreneurs Rally Brothers set up their trading business of jute and cotton in Calcutta. A century later, on the 23rd of August 1948, Rallies India Limited was incorporated and it continued its trading activities in agri commodities, soon expanding to distribution and manufacturing of pesticides and fertilizers as well. Tata Fison, a venture by the Tata Group in Fison, UK, partnered with the government of India in successfully eradicating malaria during the 1960s. Rallies became part of the Tata Group when Tata Fison acquired Rallies in 1962 with a vision of serving the Indian farming community. With the celebration of the 75th year of inception, Rallies continues its journey of serving farmers through science while transforming Indian agriculture. The Rallies Innovation and Chemistry Hub at Bengaluru develops innovative solutions to service its domestic and international crop care customers. 
Rally Seeds Business is developing hybrids to address the climate challenges of Indian agriculture while leveraging biotechnology to upgrade traits that address insect resistance, herbicide tolerance and drought tolerance. Rally's manufactures technical grade agrochemicals and formulations at its state of the art facilities at Akola, Lote, Ankleshwar, The Hage SEZ and CZ. Rallies has made significant investments in modernization of existing facilities, building flexible manufacturing capacities and pilot plants for expanding its crop care business. Keeping in mind the goal of 30% reduction in carbon footprint by 2030, Rallies continues to invest in sustainability initiatives across its manufacturing units. Rally's seeds business has extensive grower outreach for seed production in multiple states of India and is well supported by the processing facilities based in Hyderabad. Rally's serves select global farming communities directly and through its global partners. Rally's leadership positions in selected products are being leveraged through capacity expansion, building new partnerships and increasing the share of business from its existing partners. To tap supply diversification strategies emerging from global agrochemical peers, Radies has engaged with multiple partners for contract manufacturing services, leveraging its proven manufacturing capabilities, EHS assurance and ethical business practices. Quality management systems with NABL accreditation assures quality of the products. Digital preparedness has been at the forefront of Rally's Future Ready strategy. Rallies continues to focus on building artificial intelligence, remote sensing, big data analytics, smart manufacturing and demand forecasting models to de-risk the supply chain. The implementation of the supply chain solutions like integrated business planning and transportation management system has resulted in improved supply chain resilience and operational efficiency. Dr. Vishwas, the Farmer Advisory Helpline, Rally's Krishi Samadhan app, social media presence through Facebook, YouTube and Instagram supports digital engagement with the farming community. In FY 2023, the efforts were recognized on several platforms such as FIKI, NASCOM, CII and many others. Rally's India thrives on the proficiency of its employees, channel partners and vendors who continue to work efficiently towards creating food security and promoting sustainable agriculture in the country. An enabling work environment has made Rally's a great place to work. As a part of the Tata Group, Rally strongly believes in the ethos of improving the quality of lives of the community. The strong volunteering culture of Rally's employees strengthens that CSR activity. At 75, Rally's with its belief of rooted in values seeding growth is engaged in near-term aspirations of repositioning itself towards leadership. रैलीज का 75 इयर्स हो गया है जो कि कांग्रेचुलेशन हम लोग भी टाटा कंपनी के साथ रहे और जुड़ के रहेंगे और कोशिश रहेगा कि बहुत आगे कंपनी लेकर चलेंगे रैलीज परिवार को 75 साल हो गए थी बधाई 75 साल मुबारक हो एक टाटा रैलीज के अपादे दौर से आगे थे नम्मो कुटुंब तो वरिंदा हमारा आर्थिक शुभाश कि ये करीब ये कंपनी 150 200 300 साल तक चले और बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद टाटा रिलीज कंपनी का टाटा रिलीज कंपनी ला 75 वर्ष पूर्ण झाले आहे आणि माझ्या कडून माझ्या कुटुंबाकडून आणि माझ्या नातेवाईकांकडून खूप खूप शुभेच्छा 75 साल हो चुके हैं हम इनको बहुत-बहुत मुबारकबाद देते हैं नम देश है कंपनी 75 साल पूर्ण होने पर बहुत-बहुत बधाईया कंग्रेचुलेशन फॉर द 75 इयर या कंपनीला 75 वर्ष पूर्ण झाले आहेत या मुळे या कंपनीचा आम्ही आम्ही तर आमच्या परिवारातर्फे अभिनंदनच करतो आणि त्यांनी हजारो साल पर्यंत असं मार्गदर्शन करत राहो 75 वर्ष पूरेसी हीगे हीगे सा मुंदवरिले अंदे हेळ आणि एमए अंदे हेळतेने धन्यवादगळन हेळता शुभाशयगळन हेळतेने रॅलीज इंडिया का ये 75 इयर ओल्ड पूरा हुआ इसके लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई हो और हम सब दिल से जान से रैलीज इंडिया को प्यार करते हैं 75 वर्ष पासून जी शेतकऱ्यांसाठी ई बीआयने तयार करण्याचे जे शीड्स काढले आहेत तर आम्ही सदैव त्यांच्याशी जोडलेले राहू 
आणि त्यांनी जी आम्हाला शेतकऱ्यांना बियाणे वगैरे हे पुरवण्याची सुविधा केली आहे त्याबद्दल मी टाटा रेलीज कंपनीचा आभारी आहे धन्यवाद देतो इस रैलीज परिवार के साथ ये जो पचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्व हुए हैं कंपनी के मैं चाहता हूँ हजारों पचहत्तर पूर हों और मेरा परिवार मेरे बाद भी सारा सब लोग रैलीज परिवार से ही जुड़ा रहे और इस रैलीज परिवार को हम सब परिवार धन्यवाद करते हैं ఇండియా లిమిటెడ్ డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు పూర్తి చేసుకున్న సందర్భంగా మా శ్రీరామ ఫర్టిలైజర్ అండ్ పెస్టిసైడ్స్ కార్యక్రమ తరఫున శుభాకాంక్షలు అందులో భాగస్వామ్యం అయినందుకు మేము చాలా సంతోషిస్తున్నాం భారతదేశ రైతాంగానికి డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలుగా సేవలు అందిస్తూ డెబ్బై ఐదు వసంతాలు పూర్తి చేసుకున్న శుభ సందర్భంగా ర్యాలీస్ ఇండియా లిమిటెడ్ వారికి ఆర్ఎన్ఆర్ శ్రీ సాయిచంద్ర ఖమ్మం తరఫున ప్రత్యేక శుభాకాంక్షలు శుభాభినందనలు తెలియజేస్తూ టాటా ర్యాలీస్ కంపెనీ నుండి మాకు నమ్మకమైనటువంటి ఉత్పత్తులను అందించి మా అభివృద్దికి తోడ్పడుతున్నందుకు డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల వార్షికోత్సవం సందర్భంగా ఆ కంపెనీకి శుభాకాంక్షలు అందజేస్తున్నాను థ్యాంక్ యూ టాటా ర్యాలీస్ కంపెనీ డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు పూర్తి చేసుకున్న సందర్భంలో నా భారతదేశంలో నచ్చిన మెచ్చిన కంపెనీ టాటా ర్యాలీస్ కంపెనీ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ టాటా ర్యాలీస్ కంపెనీ గత డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల నుంచి టాటా ర్యాలీస్ అందులో నేను భాగస్వాముగా ఇరవై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల నుంచి చేస్తున్నందుకు నాకు సంతోషదాయకము ర్యాలీజే పూజత్తు కోచు పూర్తి పూజకి ర్యాలీస్కి ఏమో ర్యాలీజే గుడి వాడికి అసంఖ్య ధన్యవాద్ అమ్రా ర్యాలీజే సతే ప్రాయ పంచాన్నవ వచ్చి వ్యవసాయ విభాగం చూప్త ఆగామి దినం ర్యాలీజే సతే ఆంతరికత భలవాస బజాయ థాక్ హార్టియస్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ టు టీమ్ ర్యాలీస్ ఫర్ కంప్లీటింగ్ ఇట్స్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ గ్లోరియస్ ఇయర్స్ ఇన్ ద ఇండస్ట్రీ it's indeed a proud moment for us to be associated as a channel partner and a family member with this esteemed organization for more than 40 years now we wish team rallies many more glorious years in the near future to come rallies indiyade 75 amate aakosha parivaligal ende ella vida aashamsagalu ee avasarathil naan engalode 26 years se juda hu और ये मेरी प्रियंटल कंपनी है इसी से मैंने अपना बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया था और आज भी इसी से कर रहा हूँ और मैं रैलीज को पचहत्तर वर्ष पूरे होने पर बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूँ In 1851, Greek entrepreneurs Rally Brothers set up their trading business of jute and cotton in Calcutta. A century later, on the 23rd of August 1948, Rallies India Limited was incorporated and it continued its trading activities in agri-commodities, soon expanding to distribution and manufacturing of pesticides and fertilizers as well. Tata Fison, a venture by the Tata Group in Fison, UK, partnered with the Government of India in successfully eradicating malaria during the 1960s. Rallies became part of the Tata Group when Tata Fison acquired Rallies in 1962 with a vision of serving the Indian farming community. With the celebration of the 75th year of inception, Rallies continues its journey of serving farmers through science while transforming Indian agriculture. The Rallies Innovation and Chemistry Hub at Bengaluru develops innovative solutions to service its domestic and international crop care customers. Rally Seeds business is developing hybrids to address the climate challenges of Indian agriculture while leveraging biotechnology to upgrade traits that address insect resistance, herbicide tolerance and drought tolerance. Rally's manufactures technical grade agrochemicals and formulations at its state of the art facilities at Akola, Lote, Ankleshwar, The Hage SEZ and CZ. Rallies has made significant investments in modernization of existing facilities building flexible manufacturing capacities and pilot plants for expanding its crop care business keeping in mind the goal of 30% reduction in carbon footprint by 2030 Rallies continues to invest in sustainability initiatives across its manufacturing units Rallies seeds business has extensive grower outreach for seed production in multiple states of India and is well supported by the processing facilities based in Hyderabad.
Rallies serve select global farming communities directly and through its global partners. Rally's leadership positions in selected products are being leveraged through capacity expansion, building new partnerships and increasing the share of business from its existing partners. To tap supply diversification strategies emerging from global agrochemical peers, Rally's has engaged with multiple partners for contract manufacturing services, leveraging its proven manufacturing capabilities, EHS assurance and ethical business practices. Quality management systems with NABL accreditation assures quality of the products. Digital preparedness has been at the forefront of Rally's Future Ready strategy. Rally's continues to focus on building artificial intelligence, remote sensing, big data analytics, smart manufacturing and demand forecasting models to de-risk the supply chain. The implementation of the supply chain solutions like integrated business planning and transportation management system has resulted in improved supply chain resilience and operational efficiency. Dr. Vishwas, the Farmer Advisory Helpline, Rally's Krishi Samadhan app, social media presence through Facebook, YouTube and Instagram supports digital engagement with the farming community. In FY 2023, the efforts were recognized on several platforms such as FIKI, NASCOM, CII and many others. Rallies India thrives on the proficiency of its employees, channel partners and vendors who continue to work efficiently towards creating food security and promoting sustainable agriculture in the country. An enabling work environment has made Rallies a great place to work. As a part of the Tata Group, Rally strongly believes in the ethos of improving the quality of lives of the community. The strong volunteering culture of Rally's employees strengthens that CSR activity. At 75, Rally's, with its belief of rooted in values seeding growth, is engaged in near term aspirations of repositioning itself towards leadership. रैली का 75 इयर्स हो गया है जो कि कंग्रेचुलेशन हम लोग भी टाटा कंपनी के साथ रहे हैं और जुड़ के रहेंगे और कोशिश रहेगा कि बहुत आगे कंपनी लेकर चलेंगे रैली परिवार को 75 साल हो गए थी बधाई 75 साल मुबारक हो एक टाटा रैली के 75 वर्ष आगे थे नम्मो कुटुंब दवरिंद आर्थिक शुभाशयगळ के 75 वर्ष दा शुभाशयगळ टाटा रैली कंपनी को 75 साल हो चुके हैं मैं भगवान से ये प्रार्थना करूंगा कि ये करीब ये कंपनी 150 200 300 साल तक चले और बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद टाटा रिलीज कंपनी का टाटा रिलीज कंपनी ला 75 वर्ष पूर्ण झाले आहे आणि माझ्या कडून माझ्या कुटुंबाकडून आणि माझ्या नातेवाईकांकडून खूप खूप शुभेच्छा 75 साल हो चुके हैं हम इनको बहुत-बहुत मुबारकबाद देते हैं नम देश है कंपनी 75 साल पूर्ण होने पर बहुत-बहुत बधाईया कंग्रेचुलेशन फॉर द 75 इयर या कंपनी ला 75 वर्ष पूर्ण झाले आहेत या मुळे या कंपनीचा आम्ही आम्ही तर आमच्या परिवारातर्फे अभिनंदनच करतो आणि त्यांनी हजारो साल पर्यंत असं मार्गदर्शन करत राहो 75 वर्षाला पुरेसी हीगे हीगे सा मुंदवरी लंदे हेळ आणि एमएनदे हेळतेने धन्यवादगळनो हेळता शुभाशयगळनो हेळतेने रैलीज इंडिया का ये 75 इयर ओल्ड पूरा हुआ इसके लिए बहुत-बहुत बधाई हो और हम सब दिल से जान से रैलीज इंडिया को प्यार करते हैं 75 वर्षापासून जी शेतकऱ्यांसाठी ई बीआयने तयार करण्याचे जे शीड्स काढलाय तर आम्ही सदैव त्यांच्याशी जोडलेले राहू आणि त्यांनी जी आम्हाला शेतकऱ्यांना बीआयने वगैरे ही पुरवण्याची सुविधा केली आहे त्याबद्दल मी टाटा रैलीज कंपनीचा आभारी आहे धन्यवाद देतो इस रैलीज परिवार के साथ ये जो 75 वर्ष पूर्ण हुए हैं कंपनी के मैं चाहता हूं हजारों 75 पूर्ण हो और मेरा परिवार मेरे बाद भी सारा सब लोग रैलीज परिवार से ही जुड़ा रहे और इस रैलीज परिवार को हम आ, सब परिवार धन्यवाद करते हैं इंडिया लिमिटेड डेब्बा समाचार पूर्ति इसको न संदर्भ में मां श्रीराम फर्टिलाइज एंपेसर कार्यक्रम तरफ न सुबह कांसल अंदर लोग बाहर सामने आए नंदु को मैं उचाला संतोषित हूँ भारत देश रहितांगन की डब्बे समाचार का सेवा लंदिस्तु डब्बे वसंतल पूर्ति जस्ट में सुबह संदर्भ में रैली सिंधिया लिमिटेड वार के आरएनआर सी साईचंद्रा कमांडर अपना 
Congratulations, Tata Rallies Company. Congratulations, Tata Rallies Heartiest congratulations to Team Rallies for completing its 75 glorious years in the industry. It's indeed a proud moment for us to be associated as a channel partner and a family member with this esteemed organization for more than 40 years now. We wish Team Rallies many more glorious years in the near future to come. Rallies in the year,
Good morning and a warm welcome to all the members attending this 75th annual general meeting of Rallys India Limited. I am Shrikant Nair, company secretary. I hope you and your families are healthy and safe. In compliance with the applicable laws, we are holding this AGM through video conferencing this year as well. As there is no physical attendance of members, the requirement of appointing proxies is not applicable. The registers as required under the Companies Act are now open for inspection. Even though most of you are familiar with the participating in the AGM through video conferencing, I would briefly take you through certain important points. All members who have joined this meeting by, are by default placed on the mute mode to avoid any disturbance arising from background noise and to ensure smooth and seamless conduct of this meeting. The company has received requests from few shareholders to register them, themselves as speakers at the AGM. The shareholders have been registered on a first come first serve basis. Accordingly, once the question and answer session starts, the chairman will announce the name of the speaker shareholders one by one. Once the audio of the speaker shareholders will thereafter be unmuted by the host, before speak, beginning to speak, the shareholder is requested to click the video on button only once and wait till the video is on. If the shareholder is not able to switch on their video for any reason, the shareholder can continue to speak through the audio mode. While speaking, we would request the shareholder to use a earphone so that he or she is clearly audible, minimize any noise in the background, ensure that the Wi-Fi is not connected to any other devices, no other background applications are running, and there is proper lighting to have a good video experience. If there is a connectivity problem at the speaker shareholder's end, we would invite the next speaker to join. Once the connectivity improved, the speaker shareholder may be called again once the other shareholders who have registered complete their turn. We would request the shareholders to be slow and loud as while asking their questions so as to capture them correctly. We request the shareholders to limit their speech to three minutes. In case any of the questions raised by you during the AGM have remained unanswered, you may email your request to the company's investor email ID. During the AGM, if a member faces any technical issues, he or she may contact the helpline number mentioned in the notice of the AGM. I now request Mr. Bhaskar Bhatt, Chairman, to take forward the proceedings of this meeting. Good morning and Namaskar shareholders. I am Bhaskar Bhatt, attending this annual general meeting of Rallis India Limited from the Tata Group headquarters, Bombay House in Mumbai. I would like to welcome all of you to the 75th annual general meeting of the company. As the requisite for quorum is present, I now call the meeting to order. I would now request my colleagues who are on video conference to introduce themselves, my colleagues on the board. I request Dr. Punita Kumar Sinha to please introduce herself. Good morning, shareholders. I'm Punita Kumar Sinha. I'm attending this AGM meeting from Boston, USA. I serve as an independent director on the board of Rallis. I also chair the stakeholders relationship and risk management committees of the company. Thank you and welcome to the AGM. Thank you, Dr. Punita. Ms. Padmini Khare Kaikar. Good morning, shareholders. I'm Padmini Khare Kaikar, attending the, the annual general meeting of your company from Mumbai. I serve as an independent director on the board of your company and I also chair the audit committee. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Padmini. Dr. C. V. Nataraj. You're not audible, Dr. Nataraj. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Apologies. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Sevi Nataraj. I'm attending the 75th AGM of uh, Rallis from Bengaluru. I serve as an independent director on the board of Rallis. I chair the nomination and remuneration committee and the safety, health, environment, and sustainability company, committees of the company. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Nataraj. Mr. R. Mukundan. Morning, everyone. I am R. Mukundan. I'm attending this meeting from Philadelphia, USA. I serve as a non-executive director on the board of Rallis. I also chair the Corporate Social Responsibility Committee of your company. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mukundan. 
attending this meeting with me here are Mr. Sanjeev Lal, Managing Director and CEO to my left. Ms. Subra Gaurisarya, Chief Financial Officer to his left. Mr. Srikant Nair, Company Secretary to my right. We also have our senior leadership team attending this meeting through video conference from their respective locations. Representatives of BSR and Company LLP statutory auditors, Parik and Associates secretarial auditors, and DC Dave and Company cost auditors are also attending this meeting through video conference. I would like to thank all members for joining this meeting. I hope you and your families are safe and in good health. In line with the relevant circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, we are holding the AGM through video conferencing. A live streaming of this meeting is also being webcast on NSDL's website. The company has taken requisite steps to enable members to participate and vote on the items being considered in this AGM. The company has received two authorized representations along with board resolutions from corporate shareholders appointing and authorizing representatives under Section 113 of the Companies Act 2013 in respect of 9 crore 74 lakh 16,610 equity shares representing 50.09% of the paid up equity capital. Since there is no physical attendance of members and in compliance with the circulars issued by MCA, the requirement of appointing proxies is not applicable. The registers as required under the Companies Act are open for inspection. Members who have not voted earlier through remote e-voting can cast their vote in the course of the meeting through remote e-voting facilities. Facility. Since the notice is already circulated to the members, I take the notice convening the meeting as received and read. There are no qualifications in the reports of the statutory and secretarial auditors. Before we proceed with the meeting, I'd like to share a few thoughts on the performance of your company during the last year. It is a very special occasion marking the Platinum Jubilee celebration of your company. As your company enters into its 75th year since inception in August 1948, it has positioned itself as a trusted partner with all its stakeholders, more so the farmers where the Tata and Rallis brands are well recognized. Over the decades, Investments in manufacturing and R&D have helped establish your company in bringing in innovative products and solutions to support farmers and has also emerged as the partner of choice for its export business. The COVID pandemic and geopolitical developments, including the ongoing conflict in East Europe, has elevated global economic uncertainty. The IMF is outlooking a growth of around 3% till 2028, which is below the 3.8% recorded in the past two decades. The Indian economy, however, performed well, and the latest estimates are a growth of over 7% and emerged as the fastest growing major economy and expected to sustain this momentum as reflected in the GDP growth forecast of anywhere between 6 to 6.8% for 23 24 Your company is therefore cautiously optimistic in addressing the challenges even while we tap the opportunities ahead. Let me state a few things about the importance of agriculture to the economy. Agriculture has been playing a dual role in providing food security to the global population and employment to large sections of society. It continues to remain the second largest source of employment worldwide after the services sector. 
It has been the primary source of livelihood for 40, 42% of India's population and contributes to 18% of the country's GDP. I'll now briefly take you through our performance during FY 22-23. Despite a challenging year, our consolidated revenue, revenue from operations during the year continued to grow by 14% to 2,967 crore compared to 2,604 crores. The profit before tax, before exceptional items, was 127 crore as compared to 222 crores in the previous year. And PAT, after exceptional items, was 92 crores as compared to a PAT of 164 crores in the previous year. Evidently, a challenging financial outcome. The company's performance was impacted due to reassessment of intangible assets, assets under development, which has resulted in impairment of technical know-how of seed development technology amounting to 30.41 crore. Also, reassessment of future sales potential has resulted in the company recognizing the provision for slow-moving inventory in seeds amounting to 52.81 crores, a total between the two of 83 crores. Your company registered a growth of 12% in the domestic crop care business, buoyed by a continued strong performance in crop nutrition business that registered a 22% growth over the previous year. Export had a stellar performance of 24% during the year, whereas the seeds revenue was marginally lower. To drive future growth, your company will intensify focus and investments towards increasing manufacturing capacities, product portfolio expansion, and digital in initiatives. We will also intensify our marketing investments to improve reach and visibility of our products. In short, the year ahead, the management and the board will be engaged on making the company fit for future. As we visualize a promising future, efforts are underway to align and integrate our goals with environmental, social, and governance ESG aspects. Your company has undertaken an ambitious initiative targeting 30% reduction in carbon intensity by the year 2030. On the community front, your company is committed as always, to improving the quality of lives and promoting, promoting inclusive growth. Some of the work that has been undertaken in the community has resulted in significant enhancement to the lives of those living in drought-prone districts of Maharashtra through the flagship Jaldhan project. The success of other projects has also been well recognized in Maharashtra, and the same is extended to the Narmada district in Gujarat. Directors are pleased to recommend a dividend of 2 rupees 50 paise per equity share or 250% on the equity shares of the company of rupees 1 rupee 1 each for the year ended 31st March 2023. Finally, I'd like to compliment the management team under the leadership of Mr. Sanjeev Lal and the entire Rallis family for their continued support which has helped us serve our customers during these challenging times. Some of the stakeholders you did hear just before the AGM as we played the video. My heartfelt thanks and appreciation to our shareholder family and look forward to your continued input, support and guidance as your company progresses towards its goals. Thank you. I now request Mr. Sanjeev Lal, Managing Director, to take over from here. Uh, thank you, Chairman. A warm welcome to our 75th Annual General Meeting. I would now like to take you through a short presentation on the key highlights of the year gone by. 
Indian India's agriculture sector has a strong position globally and it is the primary source of livelihood for about half the country's population while contributing 18% to the GDP. Despite challenges faced by many sectors of the economy during the last three years, agriculture output has remained buoyant. Agroclimatic zones and agroecological regions enables our farmers to cultivate a wide range of crops. Despite variability in rainfall, food grain production in the country was a record high of 330 million metric tons versus 315 million metric tons in the previous year. The agri sector continues to get good attention through development of infrastructure, agri credit, and collectivization through the formation of farmer producer companies. We are proud of a long and continued association with the Indian farming community. With this background, your company recorded a 14% growth under fairly challenging conditions related to supply chain uncertainties and climate effects on cropping. Our exports business grew by 24%. Our domestic crop care business did well with a growth of 12%. Our crop nutrition category grew by 21%. However, our seeds business degrew by about 1.3%. Our profit uh, before tax was about 128 crores. Which further impacted our profitability. We generated 217 crores cash from operations and this was utilized towards our capital expenditure of rupees 188 crores and about 58 crores towards dividend. Our long-term strategy remains on track as we strengthen our manufacturing capacities, expand our reach, and extend our product portfolio. Rallis R&D efforts are ongoing to plug portfolio gaps in our seeds business and crop care business. We remain focused on driving profitable growth while serving farmers through science. In our crop protection category, we launched 10 products, which included three unique products based on our R&D and co-development projects with innovators. During the year, we also conducted a pilot to demonstrate the use of drone technology in agriculture. Our crop nutrition business uh, achieved a 21.8% growth and continued to deliver over 20% growth year on year in the last three years. During the year, we launched three new products, which included a liquid micronutrient, a plant growth regulator, and an organic fertilizer. Exports business recorded a 24.5% growth despite challenges like high cost inventory and pricing pressures. During the year, we have received nine new registrations in eight countries. Efforts are ongoing to enhance our portfolio and widen our reach, including contract manufacturing. While our seeds business registered degrowth, we launched five new products. Both our paddy hybrids are tolerant to water stress conditions, which helps the farmers in dealing with climate uncertainties. Three vegetable hybrids in the gourds and tomato category were also launched. Our cotton hybrid diggers received an excellent response in the North India cotton market. Our work on biotechnology has progressed to regulatory trials on genetically modified cotton and maize crops, which are designed to reduce cost of cultivation and improve yield by addressing weed management and insect resistance. Our seeds business has been reviewed and actions identified to bring us back on a profitable growth trajectory in the next two years. Customer engagements are now back to the pre-COVID level with field level activities, farmer interactions, dealer and distributor meets and product launches. Last year, our future ready formulation plant at the Dehage Chemical Zone was commissioned and put to use. The new multi-purpose plant at Dehage Special Economic Zone is under commissioning with trial batches presently underway. Rallis continues to prioritize technology and digital transformation projects in enabling our people and operations. E-Bandhan, our distributor interface, E-Sparsh, our Salesforce application, Sampark, our crop advisor app, are enabling our teams to service our customers in an efficient manner. Drishti is our artificial intelligence-based remote sensing application for long-range forecasting for agriculture performance. 
a Samadhan app for, for, for the farmers to access crop advisory information and a seed sure app which enables a hybrid seed production activities. We continue to invest in our people and nurture talent with training, learning and capability building. Your company's employees employee engagement score continues to be in the top quartile. Through our CSR program, we continue to support the disadvantaged communities, women and youth to bring about social change largely in the areas of operation. Our flagship CSR program, Unnat Gram, aims to convert tribal village into a model tribal village in a span of three to five years. Jaldhan targets water conservation in water stress villages and has transformed the lives of these communities in these areas. While we continue to drive our sustainability agenda in our operations, it is indeed gratifying that for every ton of water that we consume in our operations, we conserve over 12 tons of water through our Jaldhan program. Our Tara program is focused on imparting skills training to enhance employability and entrepreneurship amongst women and youth of disadvantaged communities. Our CSAFE program is working with eight FPOs for market connect and enablement through technology. Uh, to conclude, we are committed to overcoming near-term volatility to deliver profitable growth. The imminent El Nino, which is developing, is being closely monitored and our teams are working with the farmers and our trade partners to make available our product offerings, which can potentially reduce the risk to the farmers. We continue to remain focused on our profitable growth strategy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sanjeev. I now request the company secretary to explain the process of e-voting on the resolutions in the meeting. Thank you, sir. The Companies Act 2013 and the SEBI listing regulations provide for electronic voting. Accordingly, the company has provided its member the facility to cast their vote through a remote electronic voting system administered by NSDL. The facility for voting at the meeting is also provided for members present here through video conference and who have not yet voted. The members may please go to the voting page of the NSDL e-voting website and cast their vote, while at the same time watch the proceedings of this meeting. Since the AGM is being held through video conferencing and the resolutions mentioned in the notice convening this AGM has already been put to vote, there will be no proposing and seconding of the resolutions. Mr. Bhaskar Upadhyay has been appointed as the scrutinizer of this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Shrikant. The remote e-voting facility is now open and members may please go to the voting page of NSDL e-voting website and cast their vote, while at the same time watch the proceedings of this meeting. The remote e-voting facility will remain open for 15 minutes after this meeting to enable members to cast their vote. I now request those members who have registered to speak to speak one by one. I request the speakers to be brief and restrict their speech to three minutes. To be fair to speakers who come later, I'd like speakers to dwell upon the significant points and we will address all the points that you want to bring up if you send us an email within a certain period of time. Just to be fair to those who follow later. Thank you for your understanding. May I now call upon Dr. Arun Kumar Bopanna. Hello. 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 Namaskara to Chairman Bhaskar Bhatt and Dr. Nataraj from Bangalore, sir. I'm in Bangalore today. And good morning to the rest on the rallies board and the dais. Thanks to Srikanth, Nair, and team. I forgot, uh, I saw Mukundan a little. I was wondering why he was so serious, but I, I learned he's in the US. So we are disturbing at the <laughs> midnight hour for uh, ungodly time. Hello, Mr. Mukundan. Back to Mumbai today evening. See you next week. I hope you keep smiling. I'm not seeing you smiling now. And thanks to Srikanth and team. And compliments to rallies for the Unnat Gram tribal model village in Maharashtra for reducing its environment impact using renewable energy, dedicated research lab for crop care and seeds at Bengaluru, making good choices, endless processor, 
and it's a continuous commitment of Tatas and Rallies. And the challenge is climate change is reality. Agriculture production is declining due to warming climate. Rainfall, snowfall, hailstorms, and temperature patterns have changed over time, affecting farmers and consumers. Your comments on that. So, did Rallies make any, any investment in startups? If so, how much? How will Rallies turn ideas into research and research into implementation? Will startups be the next change makers? Internet and emails have eliminated the cost of physical communication. But the important thing in communication is hearing what is not said, your comments. What is missing in the budget? Skills current education system need a reboot with new age courses like coding, AI, robotics, IoT, drones, etc. What are Rally's plans? So millets, an Indian opportunity, making the country a global hub for millets. What are Rally's plans? Is India becoming global manufacturing hub for green chemistry? Rally's actions. Without prejudice and offense to Mukandan or uh, Sanjeevji, in a lighter note, Rallis is going in circles, sir. Share price and market cap is going nowhere. When will we move forward? With apologies, three apologies. Seeing our group's consolidation drive, will Rallis merge into uh, Tata Chemicals anytime soon? Lastly, to the chairman of Vistara, sir, Pascar. <laughs> See, I fly four times a week, four times a month to Vistara. And I am from a micro minority community of patriots and honest people. Somehow you cancelled the flights to Hyderabad from Bangalore this month due to Hajj. So Vistara flights are very efficient. Vistara routes are not sufficient. Vistara sometimes fares become very high. Vistara makes me look at the sky then. Vistara should be moderate and clear. Rates must remove the rates fear. I hope you will heed to my request and keep Vistara flying to Hyderabad too. In conclusion, the only thing we know about the future is it will be different. I wish Dallas all success to ensure sustainable agriculture. Thank you very much and Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. So nice seeing you. Thank you, sir. On the last point, just as a matter of, <laughs> like you said, Rallis is very grounded. Vistara keeps flying. Thank you, Dr. Boparna. Mr. Manoj Kumar Gupta. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you, Mr. Gupta. Yeah, good morning, respected chairman, board of directors, fellow shareholders. My name is Manoj Gupta. I'm equity shareholder of release. I have joined this meeting from Calcutta, my residence. So first of all, I want to thank you that you are a marketing guru and you are hoping that you will also make a titan of Relish. Because you have a good return of Titan in your leadership. And you always hope that you are a good return of Tata Group. Mr. Bhaskar Bhatt and Mr. Harish Bhatt. And both are the marketing guru. And they know how to make Relish and and both are the marketing guru. And they know how to make the marketing of any product and how the success of that product in the marketing to reach that product in each and every house of the country, not in the country, and try to take the product in abroad also. So I believe that you will take the release product in every house in the country and abroad to make sure that release will also spread their wings in coming time under your leadership with the help, help of release executive team like Mr. Lal, Mr. Sikant and others. So Relis will also spread their wings. And I thanks to MD, and I'm very happy to see his presentation uh, about CSR, Unnat Gaon, and others, Jal Dhan. And I thanks to the company secretary and his team to help us join this meeting through VC. Sir, I will take, I will try to finish my speech within three minutes, otherwise I will take one minute more. And sir, the turnover is up, profit has gone down, and our dividend is also gone down for 50 pesa per year. Last year you have paid 300, this year on the eve of 75th year, you are paying 250%. We were expected that you will announce a special dividend uh, with a 
uh, with the inclusion uh, with include uh, with include of a dividend that a uh, special dividend for the 75th year and really said started his corporate journey from calcutta really said started his corporate journey from calcutta so think about that to start, open some offices in this part also this big part is also growing eastern part and north part northeast is also after become the india government in uh, northeast like as tripura meghalaya manipur assam in the northeast is, is also growing so spread some wings of release in in these part also sir and sir what's your future plan for the company for next 2 to 3 years or sir try to use the solar power in your plants to save the energy cost and if you will install the solar power and solar installation the government will give the subsidy our honorable prime minister is always help the uh, announce the subsidy to use the solar system in the uh, factories and sir what's your plan to reward the in investors for the 75th year of the company a platinum jubilee of the company how you will reward to the investors and sir uh, i thanks to our md and his team for the digital in in initiatives because our prime minister is also asking individual people and the all corporate houses to use the digital platform so really is doing that for the digital initiative so i thanks to the uh, md and his team and sir your termite medicine is very popular in the country because i i am also a customer for our school and hospital we use that uh, thing for our wooden furniture and in the school for wooden chair and tables for the students and hospital to save to safeguard for the walls that's very and just sir give that products uh, ad advertisement and print and electronic media to so popular that aluminum packed termite termite addition to use the home so so give some advertisement in the print and electronic media and i want welcome mrs pune dr punita sina in our in our board she is a, she has a vast experience and i respect her so i thanks to her that she is in our board and i thanks for your csr and how you face the competition in agro and the farm farm formulations so how you face the competition La last sir i thanks to you and your team for the excellent result of the company and i believe that company will more grow under your leadership to touch the new heights in near future thank you sir thank you mr gupta thank you for your inputs may I now invite mr praful chavda हेलो सर मेरी आवाज आ रही है हाँ जी थैंक यू सर गुड मॉर्निंग बस तो मैं हैदराबाद से प्रकुल चावड़ा बोल रहा हूँ और सर सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ए जी हो रहा है तो हर एक शेयर होल्डर को कुछ ना कुछ उम्मीद रहती है कि पेशियल डिविडेंट मिलेगा नहीं मिला इसलिए कस्टमर को भी उम्मीद रहती है कि पेशियल कुछ मिलेगा डिस्काउंट मिलेगा तो कस्टमर को आप डिस्काउंट क्या दे रहे हो बताएंगे इसके अलावा रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट सेंटर नया प्रोडक्ट्स क्या लेके आ रहे हैं अभी नरेंद्र मोदी जी भी बोले थे मोटा धन खाओ बेनिफिट रहेगा तो सर ज्यादातर मैं देखता हूं कि मोटा धन महंगा ही हो जा गया है गेहूं सस्ता है मोटा धन महंगा है तो इसके लिए रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट सेंटर क्या ऐसा कुछ प्रोडक्ट लेके आया है कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा उत्पादन हो और मोटा धन खाने के लिए लोग आगे आए जो अच्छा एनेजर देता है और अच्छा हेल्पफुल रहता है आदमी तो इसके बारे में कुछ बताएंगे आपका एम्प्लॉज को आप सिल्वर जो सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स के लिए क्या बेनिफिट दे रहे हैं वो भी एक बताएंगे घने बहुत सारे एम्प्लॉज आपको 25 साल 30 साल 35 साल पुराने भी हो सकते हैं तो इसके लिए आप उसको क्या कुछ ट्रीटमेंट करते हैं कि नहीं करते हैं वो आप क्या कंपनी में कुछ ऐसा रहा तो बताएंगे सर सी में बहुत अच्छा कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा कर रहे हैं सी एस आर में कोई लोगों ने इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं किया तो भी वो लोगों को बेनिफिट मिलता है तो हम शेल्डर चाहते हैं कि जो शेल्डर है ओनली स्पीकर है जो आपको 
आगे बढ़ने के लिए उस्ताद करते हैं आप आगे बढ़ो हम आपके साथ ही बताते हैं और स्पीकर के तौर पे आते हैं बात करते हैं तो कम से कम जो स्पीकर शेल्डर है उसको आप बेस का प्लांट विजिट कराइए ताकि ये पिछहत्तर सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स का आ, कुछ हमको भी बेनिफिट मिले सर सी एस आर में एक बात कहना चाहता हूँ स्कूल है हॉस्पिटल है सब कुछ है पर साथ साथ में आप हिंदू संस्कृति संस्कृति बचाने के लिए स्कूल में गीता का पाठ कराइए रामायण का पाठ कराइए जो आज के जमाने में बच्चों को कहीं सीखने को नहीं मिलता है अपना हिंदू संस्कृति क्या है वो जान नहीं सकते और कहीं भी सुनने में नहीं मिलता देखने को मिलता है तो इसके लिए भी आप कुछ करना चाहिए साथ साथ से आपने एजुकेशन में टेक्निकल ज्ञान भी देना चाहिए आजकल एजुकेशन लेके जो बच्चे स्कूल में से निकल जाते हैं ओनली डिग्री लेके घूमते हैं नौकरी ढूंढते हैं और गल इसके पास टेक्निकल ज्ञान रहता है चाहे तो पंबर का है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक का है ऐसे बहुत से जॉब है छोटे छोटे मर के करके भी उन्हें उसका पेट भी पाल सकता है और आगे बढ़ सकते हैं तो इसके लिए आपने टेक्निकल ज्ञान देने के लिए भी स्कूल में करना चाहिए ये मैं कहना चाहता हूँ मैं आपकी कंपनी से बहुत खुश हूँ और सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स है हंड्रेड ईयर भी होगा पर साथ साथ में नए नए प्रोडक्ट्स लेके आए ऐसी शुभकामना के साथ धन्यवाद सर धन्यवाद जी प्रफुल चावड़ा जी मैं आई इनवाइट मिस्टर संतोष कुमार सराफ आदरणीय सभापति जी उपस्थित निर्देशक सदस्य और मेरे सोलर भाइयों बहनों जो आज हम वीडियो कॉम्पेस से आप सभी को नमस्कार करता हूँ ऐसा करता हूँ आप जितने भी अधिकारी गण है और जितने भी डायरेक्टर और वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस शेयर और कर्मचारी पर्जेंट है इनसे हम अच्छे से बात कर सर मैं आपकी आपका और आपकी टीम को धन्यवाद देता हूँ रिजल्ट काफी अच्छा नहीं फिर भी आपने काफी मेहनत करके काफी कुछ कंपनी करनी चेष्टा की सर सर मेरे दो प्रश्न है एक तो सर आप क्या जो परमानेंट इम्प्लाई है फीमेल और केवल फोर फोर परसेंटेज है तो इसको बढ़ाने के लिए क्या कदम उठा रहे हैं क्योंकि अभी चाहते हैं कि मोदी जी भी चाहते हैं और हमारी प्रशंसा में वो चाहती है कि उम्र को ज्यादा ज्यादा इम्प्लॉयमेंट किया जाए जिससे आप उसके लिए क्या सहायता कर सकते हैं और किस तरह बढ़ा बताइए सर आपके वर्कर भी केवल सेवन परसेंट उमेन है सर इसमें संख्या बढ़ाने की जरूरत है इसके बारे में क्या कदम उठा रहे बताइए सर दूसरा सर दो हजार चौबीस पच्चीस तक हम चाहते हैं किसानों की इनकम डबल हो जाए इसके लिए आप क्या कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं और किस तरह आप गवर्नमेंट को हेल्प कर सकते हैं जिससे किसानों की इनकम डबल हो जाए सर और मिलेट्रेस के ऊपर सर इससे उसकी कॉस्टिंग कम किया है और हमें ईजी अवेलेबल हो और कम दाम में अवेलेबल हो ज्यादा समय नहीं लो सर ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग काफी अच्छी है और आप आप सभी को धन्यवाद देता हूँ इसके लिए और हमारी सेक्रेटरी टीम को भी धन्यवाद देता हूँ शिल्पा मैडम को भी धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर सर मैं ज्यादा समय नहीं देता वो अपना बच्चे भी समाप्त करता हूँ आशा करता हूँ कि आप जितने भी डायरेक्टर जितने भी है ये अच्छे होंगे और उनको शुभकामना जितने को मैं बच्चे का नमस्कार नमस्कार सराफ जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं इन्वेस्ट मैं इनवाइट मैं श्वेता सिंगल मैं श्वेता सिंगल गुड मॉर्निंग चेयरमैन सर गुड मॉर्निंग मेंबर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड I am Shweta Singhal, a proud shareholder of the company and a member of Millennium Mans. Chairman Sir, we are nearing the end of the 800 crore Apex plan. Congratulations to the company for doing this through internal approvals. So, when do we see this giving fruit in a big way? Secondly, Sir, we did a tie-up with Garuda Aerospace for drones. Could you update on how this has helped the company and what future plans we have for drones? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Miss Single. 
May I now invite Ms. Swati Chaudhary. Good morning, Chairman, sir. Uh, I am Swati Chaudhary, proud shareholder of uh, our, our company, Rallis India, and member of Millennium Mams. Sir, there has been major changes made to the seed portfolio. Do we see the seed portfolio sales normalizing in the current year? Sir, you have said that revenue contribution from international business will grow from current levels of 37% to 40% in the next few years. Please, can you share a roadmap of how our company plans to achieve this? So my last question is, we would like to know how much percentage of revenue can we expect from the contract manufacturing segment? What type of margins does this segment of business generate? Thanks a lot. Thank you, Ms. Chaudhary. Thank you, sir. I now invite Ms. Krishma Shah. Good morning, sir. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Good morning, sir, uh, respected chairman and members of the board. Congratulations on the 75th Diamond Jubilee here, a milestone in the story of Rallis. I am Krishma Shah, a proud shareholder of the company and a member of Millennium MAMS. My question is, sir, land is limited and India has become the most populous country. So to feed the growing population, we need to increase the yield of the crops. However, we don't see that happening on the ground. What are the issues that are preventing higher usage of crop care products to help increase the yield? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Shah. May I now invite Ms. Avina Rajgaria? Please unmute. Can't hear you, Ms. Rajgarya. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, good, respected chairman and the members of board, I am Avina Rajgarya. I am a proud shareholder of the company and a member of Millennium Man. Sir, a brand is well known to farmers. And we have a large distribution network for our product too. As we could see in the video, sir, the distributors congratulating you from all over India in completion of 75 years. Congratulations to you, sir. So despite this, we see the performance of the business has not been that great in last few years. So can you pinpoint what has been the most important factors affecting business growth. And so my second question is, the PM has declared this as a year of millet. So are we planning to add millets to our portfolio? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Rajgaria. I now invite Mr. Silesh Mahadevya. Uh, respected chairman, I believe you can hear me and see me as well. Yes, sir, both. We can well, respected me. chairman, board of directors, and members of the company. Sir, first, let me congratulate the company for completing 75 years of its existence and making progress year after year. However, 
the business of agriculture makes such that it does not give uniform and always increasing results. But I am sure from the long term point of view, our company has a great potential. Sir, let me also appreciate the report which gives in detail the working of the company. It also gives us the BR and SR report, which is of great help in understanding our company in a very short way. And the integrated report provides how our capital has been utilized during the year and what value creation has taken place during the year. So all these things I appreciate. And I would also like to appreciate that in all the board meetings, all the directors have remained present in all the eight meetings. Sir, I appreciate this very much and it shows the commitment of the board and the management team to the business of the company. Sir, let me also appreciate that 33% of our income is coming from exports. And I believe these exports are likely to increase in the times to come. Sir, however, I would like to put some questions with a view to increase my understanding and appreciation of the working of the company. Sir, my first question is that under crop protection portfolio, in active ingredients plays a very important part in any company of our size. Sir, may I know what is the status of active ingredients which we were also trying to develop for the last two, three years? When are these active ingredients will give the result and we will be in a position to put into practice? But on this subject, I would also like to know that we have also have a lot of imports. But may I know whether active ingredients are being also imported, probably from, from China? Sir, my next question is related to the year of millets, which was declared last year and which is being celebrated throughout the country and in all countries of the world except Western Europe and United States. They do not form part of this particular year of millets. The reason is very simple. They are the largest producers of wheat and also some other grains, including in some parts rice. And these are the two ingredients, uh, two crops, which are causing the problem of carbohydrate to fiber imbalance. And it is the micro millets, or what are known as positive millets, which have only in single digit carbohydrate to fiber uh, results. So, therefore, my suggestion is that we should involve ourselves in doing a lot of research, not only from the development point of view, but also from marketing point of view. And I am sure the government of India will also take steps and they have already given the minimum price even for the millets, which has been started from this year. And in the times to come, government is also likely to extend their hand. And we should try to grab this opportunity, which is a very bright future in the next five years at least. Sir, at present, the contribution of millet in the food basket of the country is only about 12%, while that of wheat and rice is substantial and is the balance. Sir, may I know how much we expect to raise the contribution of millets in the next five years? Sir, I would further like to add that 
millets also contribute in in climate it also contributes in generation of employment apart from providing food and this is being contributed as incidental to its activities in the manufacturing form and it is also resistant to climatic conditions under all countries it will give you excellent result and these are some of the factors which we should seriously take into account so i would also suggest that we may invite the millet man of india who is dr khadarwalli and he also received the padma shri on 26 january this year and we may invite him to guide us for development in this particular field in the times to come sir with this i have taken lot of time and i wish our organization every success in all its efforts thank you very much sir thank you mr mahadevya for your very valuable inputs may i invite mr tamal kumar majumdar Minister. Is it okay, sir? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Respected Bar Sir, Lal Sir, uh, Mr. Mukundan, Dr. Srina, Mrs. Gauri Sariya, and other directors of the company, myself, Tamal Kumar Mazumdar, an equity shareholder from Kolkata. But today, I am joining from Mumbai. and our dawat bilabet company secretary who just joined tata sun some months ago and in his position his successor was srikant nair and his team which includes silpa also must be complimented for maintaining cordial relation with the shareholders and all the best to srikant and his team and please convey our best wishes to jas also and thank you mr chairman for sharing your opening remarks and lal sir for the thoughtful presentation sir it is really a matter of pride that rallies india a limited completed 75 years of its existence but it is to be noted here that actually in 1861 during american civil war the rallies established as a farm in mumbai under rally brothers i want to share one information that your predecessor R. Gopal Krishna, in his book titled "A Comma in a Sentence," mentioned that his father worked here and rose to the position of chief accountant in Rally Brothers in Calcutta. Mr. Gopal Krishna mentioned, and when he became the chairman of Rally India Limited, he went to the office in Dalhousie in Calcutta, earlier office in Dalhousie in Calcutta. a uh, adgar uh, office in rally in calcutta and saw saw some papers signed by his father during that period is not is not that unique that father and son worked in a in the same company in the senior position and i have no hesitation in mentioning that the turn around of the company started during mr gopal krishna which is being carried uh, which you are actually complimenting the after his retirement thank you both of you sir thank you both of you and sir i have some queries relating to audited accounts and other matters and as usual seek your indulgence sir due to several negative issues through revenue from agri uh, agri inputs increased from 2065 crores to 2965 crores yet profit decreased and if we look at uh, uh, profit pat and pvt decreased in comparison to last year and if we look at the 10 year statistics with the company gave us then we may notice that financial at 23 and lowest pat during the last 10 years and if we look at page 237 then it will be noted that sale to north america also declined 
from 302 crores during financial year 22 to 211 crores. But one thing I noticed that during uh, uh, North America, the company exported polymers to the tune of seven crores, to the tune of seven crores, uh, with a margin of nearly two crores, I think, during that year, without unallocables, without considering uh, unallocables. Sir, what is the uh, what about the margin in nationally as well as internationally? How the margin fare during the year? And what about the North American position now? Whether this year it is doing well? And sir, it is also noted that negative growth of 3% in funny side took place during financial year 23. Mainly due to low demand in paddy and plantation crops. You also mentioned in your opening remarks. As regards herbicide is concerned, its increase was a massive 23.2% during financial year 23 in relation to financial year 22. It is in page 83, company mentioned also. In this connection, I want to know what is the present condition of our overall business during Q1 of financial year 24 and your expectation for the whole year. Whether you are expecting increase in demand of, of, of paddy and plantation seeds uh, plantation sector during financial year 24, and what about insecticides and herbicides? Uh, Mr. Lal in his presentation mentioned they developed some uh, seeds uh, as regards the EA is concerned, the rice is concerned. How they are doing during the current year, and what is your expectation? Sir, in your message to shareholders, you mentioned that expecting normalization of demand and supplies globally Industry is estimated to have a low growth for financial year 24. You mentioned it page 12 in your speech. Yes, sir. In your letter to us. Yes. Uh, and after completion of more than five, five and a half months during the calendar year 2024, how do you look at the global scenario and its impact on our business as well as profitability during financial year 24? Please share your thoughts, sir, in this regard. Sir. Page 83 also mentioned weakening of local currencies against US dollar in many South Asian and African countries resulted in higher cost of treatment adversely affecting the demand. What is the current status now in this regard? An expectation from the, uh, from the current year in these sectors also. Sir, it is really commendable that despite decrease in EPS diluted plus basic from 8.45 per share of rupee one each to 4.73 per equity share during financial year 23. The dividend decrease was a mere 50 paisa from rupees three, but from rupees three per share to rupees 2.5 per share during the financial year, and distribution was 53 percent of PAT as dividend. It's a commendable job, a commendable, uh, actually, uh, commendable job done by the company, looking at the shareholders' plight, because actually, uh, uh, PAT actually half, nearly half, as regards last year is concerned. So it is nice to note that the company incurred 1.98% of net sales on R&D during financial year 23, from 1.79% to 1.98%. And Dr. Nataraj must be happy in this regard, noticing the positive trend in this regard. But one thing surprised me, sir. Traveling expenses booked under R&D, R&D increased by hoping five times. That is from a mere 30 lakhs, from a mere 30 lakhs, 31 lakhs, to it became 1.79 crore during financial year 23. And professional fees also increased from uh, 39 lakhs to 1.08 crores. It is in page 236, sir. Yeah. Huh? And would you please clarify the reason for abnormal increase during the year? And what will be a projected R&D? Whether the momentum will continue, whether it will increase further. I also, I also support the impairment of assets and intangible assets under development but during financial at 23 to the tune of 31 cross. 
I strongly believe that cleaning our balance sheet must be done ruthlessly without looking at the profit figure during any year. I still remember when some years ago, Tata Motor did the same thing. They, uh, Tata Motor made huge impairment of intangibles, intangibles and other assets, increasing the loss of the year. I was the lone supporter at the meeting. Nobody supported because it increased the loss. But see thereafter, what happened? Tata Motor during the year declared a dividend of 105%. After take a uh, uh, hundred five percent, so I want to know your thoughts in this regard. Whether this momentum will also continue, irrespective of the fact, looking at the dividend, looking at the profits, it should continue. It should continue, and it must continue. And so I want to know what is the reason for return back of provision for impairment made earlier to the tune of zero point two two crores during financial year twenty three. It is in page 211. You are written, uh, writing it off, but you written back also some amount. It is in 211. And then, sir, company booked a uh, rupees 15 crore as net loss on foreign currency transaction during financial year 23. Please share details in this respect and whether the company may go for hedging in the coming years after noticing that uh, losses or others, whether they may consider going for hedging. And sir, as for page 197, it is noted that the cost of, you also mentioned it, that cost of inventory is recognized as an expense, which includes 57 crores in respect of adjustment to inventories and on to net realizable value, and has recognized nearly 53 crores on, as provision for slow moving seats inventory. Seats inventory. And sir, please share your thoughts in this regard. What will be the company's policy in this regard? I also want to know whether this this will continue, continue, because I I actually it's give me a great pleasure. They, without looking at the profit figure, company did this, did this. If we consider both this a, a your impairment and that, then it it actually it should have increased a net profits. If we don't do that, so it's uncommandable. I I want to think yeah, what is the company's thinking whether this momentum will continue in the coming years. And sir, company capitalized 61 crore during financial year 23, and capital working progress balance as on 31st March is 179 crores. It is in page 86, 186, sorry. Would you please share details in this respect? And what is your CapEx program? Despite that uh, current uh, scenario, brick scenario to some extent, what is your CapEx program for the current year? Sir, it is noted from page 235 that against a contingent liability of several taxes totaling 221 crores, the company paid only 17 crores and that also under protest. So against 221 crores, there is not single funding. Company not provided a single funding. The payment which they made, they are showing it as a payment under protest. And during the year, it was added only by two crores. Two crores. In this respect, uh, and you mentioned that these claims are not tenable. But in case of any negative impact due to adverse order or adverse orders, company's profitability may decrease substantially. Have the management ever gave serious thought on these claims? considering every each claim in this regard, whether they have given a thought or they may provide some amount in this regard in if it is not provided, then they may return back. There is every possibility. Every time there is a possibility. And we will be saved from any untoward insight. Anything happens, adverse happens. And lastly, uh, please share your thoughts in this regard, sir. Lastly, sir, three properties of plant and machinery uh, totaling 17 crore not transferred in the name of the company for a long time. It is in page 238. Would you please share the reason in this regard? And what is the current price of land and building and whether the company ever revalued the, those assets? Thank you all. Thank you, Chairman, and thank you all for patient hearing.
Thank you, Mr. Tamal, for your very valuable inputs. I now invite Mr. Asit Kumar Pathak. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes. Yes. Very good noon, respected chairman, board of directors, company secretary, fellow members joining at 75th AGM of Rallys India Limited. My name is Ashit Kumar Pathak, joining from Damdam, Kolkata. At first, my esteemed gratitude to company secretary, Mr. Srikant Nayar and secretarial department for sending me the notice and annual report by email very well in advance and allow me to speak. We are celebrating 75 years long journey of Rallys India Limited that mentioned in the annual report and excellent opening remarks from the respected chairman and MD also. I have noted the several valid points. I have some few uh, brief views which I'd like to share. Mr. Nojumdar also mentioned uh, the CapEx program next three years, where my company has been investing in manufacturing infrastructure to enhance the capacities of existing products. And the board is committed to further investment in manufacturing support. If possible, throw some highlights and present capacity of utilizations of our five manufacturing units. If possible, show some highlights and CapEx program for digital transformation, ESG framework, water conservations and energy conservations. Any future plan for extension of capacity and or extension of innovation centers? Because on RD, it mentioned 1.98% increased from previous financial year, 1.79% on sales. Because innovation is very, very, very important because the climate is changing and also monsoon is delayed and that is curry crops and wheat also impacted last year. If possible, so some highlights. This is my view suggestion, which I like to share. We have 2.7 million farmers for crop care and 2.5 million subsidies farmers in India. So my company management team may connect to TCPL because Tata Consumer Products Limited is also ongoing in food <coughs> distributions model. So may connect, that is very prospective uh, 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 business from Tata Consumer Products. This is my view, which I like to share, sir. And also, Mr. Mojumdar also uh, mentioned about the uh, <coughs> impairment of seed development. My also, this is noted point here. And also, uh, the inventory slow moving uh, amount 52.81 crores. My view is that the what company, my company management team taken to mitigate these factors. If possible, show uh, some highlights about this. And steps taken to positive growth of seed business. Because uh, uh, overall in agriculture, 18% uh, uh, of GDP, our domestic GDP. So there is very big weakness with our products portfolios. So by the way, the minority shareholders will be rewarded with good dividend where the enhanced profitability of my company and good promoter holding here, 50.09%. Sir, this is my request in the EPOP of 75 years, any possibility of uh, issue of bonus shares because uh, there is reserve is very higher. 1,711 1, crore against 19.45 equity share capital. And sir, uh, what the cost control? What you steps taken? Because cost of material consumed is very higher than previous year, 1,943 crores against 1624 crores and finance cost is very higher 12 crore against 5 crores and power and fuel cost also higher 95 crore against 71 crores and in page 87 it noticed that trade receivable is 11.8 percent higher than previous year this to be noted sir 
and in page 161 lots of pending disputes regarding cell tax gst it customs it may be shortlisted because mr majumdar also mentioned the legal and professional fees 22 crores against 15 crores previous year and page 213 selling expense needs to be noted sir we have a selling expense 60 crores against 53 crores and advance written up 63 lakhs against 29 lakhs previous year and commission paid which is higher 100.47 lakhs against 64.64 Tax previous year. This to be noted, sir, because our product is value value added program product, and it is very appreciable to every distributor. Every every distributor in opening any distributor uh, rewarded our company's management team. So I think uh, this to be minimized, sir. This is my point of view. Finally, my company traveled a long journey from 1948. With the sound financial performance, Mr. Majumdar also mentioned about this. And in the eve of 75 years, my small request a memorable moment for the attending speakers from your side, if possible, uh, from our my company's management team. That is very memorable to us. Thanking you, sir. I pray to God, everybody, good health. And prosperity with and prospective of my company uh, with all management teams. Thanking you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Oshit you. Kumar Patak, and for your good wishes as well. Mr. K. Bharat Raj, next speaker. May I request you? Hello. Yeah, very good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairman and Bureau Directors. Uh, first of all, I'm happy to see you all safe, healthy, and fine. Sir, there are only four requests from my side, sir. First thing, sir, congratulations for the Platinum Jubilee, sir. Sir, in this Platinum Jubilee, I want uh, interim dividend 75 rupees, sir, or bonus, sir. Second thing, sir, uh, who are the shareholders are participating in this Platinum Jubilee? Please have the planned visit, sir. Second request, sir. Third request, sir. Please inform to our company secretary, please arrange a dry food box to all the shareholders who are participating in the AGM, sir. That is the third request, sir. Uh, fourth request, sir. All the best for the coming years. My best, best wishes to you all. Enter board of directors, chairman, sir, MD, sir. Thank you for wonderful performance. And thanks, Mr. Uh, company secretary, for arranging the wonderful VC. Sir, I have not received the annual report, sir. Please look to the issue, sir. Uh, once again, sir, all the best for the, for the coming years, sir. Please try to fulfill my request, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Bharat Raj, for your suggestions. And now I invite Mr. Joydeep Bakshi. Very good afternoon, sir, Chairman, Board of Directors. And uh, my fellow shareholders also, myself, Jaydeep Bakshi, connecting from the city of Kolkata. Sir, initial speech presentation were very good from both of you, from, uh, and explained our company's positions. And uh, revenue for operation has gone up, but, uh, but the profit has gone down a bit compared to last year. Sir, regarding the just geopolitical tensions, and above all this inflation is the main cause of concern now, so how do we place ourselves to come out of this? Once again, thanks for the dividend you have passed on in this hard time. So what is our policy for the data leakage prevention to protect our daily operations? <clears throat> so kindly share our thoughts for the minimized impact of risk of vulnerable weather condition as our business is totally dependent on this climate change. Sir. So once again, congrats for the CSR activities. We are co covering three lakhs of more than villages and converting 71 acres of land into forest area. And also especially for the rainwater conservation project. So are we uh, into any new collaboration agreement uh, in the future? And also once again, congrats for reducing of the carbon footprint, which mentioned in page 24, 34, sir. So, uh, so we're good to see our branded products in page number 17 in a new avatar. And so the awards which were in the last inside cover 
can this be commented in the front page because it's a, it's a good to see the awards in the front side sir so nothing to add sir so it is our in our effort to support the farmers so we have covered prestigious 75 years with our reputation uh, and so uh, it's well depicted in the pages from 2 to 8 Sir, kindly request you, sir, to award a memento to make this a memorable one occasion to all the shareholders and all the concerned uh, customers also. And once again, as requested by earlier speakers, for a planned visit, if possible, sir. All the best and hope the company comes out with much better results and good dividend in the coming years, sir. Thank you, sir, and all stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Bakshi. May I now invite Mr. Dinesh Bhatia. Mr. Dinesh Bhatia. Mr. Dinesh, you can speak. If there is a challenge, we'll move on to the next speaker and bring up Mr. Bhatia later. May I request now Mr. Gautam Tiwari, please? Mr. Gautam Tiwari. Yes, sir. Can you listen me, sir? Yes. And can you see me, sir? Not yet. Now, now probably you can see me. Not yet, sir. Uh, I think now you'll see me. Yes. <laughs> now yes. So nice to see you, sir. Although virtually, but so very happy. Uh, we have recognized each other since years, since decades rather together, sir. You yes. are one of the most popular figure in the Tata group of companies. This is what I have noted since uh, myself being uh, with Tata group of companies from my daddy mummy's time for for more than 50, 60 years rather. Uh, so we uh, we are very much, it is right in the in our blood and in our depth of heart, all Tata group as it is in your heart, sir. Uh, a very, very special uh, good afternoon, sir, and uh, special namaskaram, sir, my dear sir, uh, Bhaskar Bhatt, sir, and uh, my all eminent uh, and uh, uh, well dignified board of directors i warmly welcome Ms. Uh, this punita sinha Ms. punita sinha also you know board of directors team rallies india limited uh, myself gautam tiwari and i am participating at this meeting as you know from mumbai only sir uh, sir i would like especially to thank sanjeev lal his uh, uh, his explanation was very good uh, the way he has demonstrated companies working i really liked it and uh, this Subra Gausari also, who is uh, doing a very good job as a CFO, and along with entire board of uh, management, along with all our employees, sir, and staff and executives for their dedication, commitment, and hard work and sincerity for producing uh, outstanding and good performance year after year, although at a slow pace, but we are doing a lot of good things for our farmers, Annadatta, which is uh, which we can reflect in the form of Unnat Gaon, Jaldhan, Vistara and all these Yojanas. So I am very happy about what we have been doing as, as a CSR activities, sir. Sir, I thank the company uh, for paying rupees 2.50 dividend. Sir, people say it is less dividend. My dear sir, please, please listen. Sir, it is less, but it is the 53% outgo that you have already given. Sir, it means that you have got the confidence with whatever is retained with you, you will still produce better and better uh, in, in the coming years. Dear sir, our annual report notice are very well designed. They are transparent and uh, with all facts and figures in place uh, and um, provided in a very good uh, 
fashion and with all uh, the, the facts and figures in place. Sir, investor care and investor service of our dynamic energetic company secretary, uh, uh, Srika Nair, who, who has been uh, uh, taken the successful step from uh, our Yash, uh, who is now with Tata Sons. So, yeah, is very good along with Shilpa and uh, uh, this uh, Punit Pawar uh, also, Vinit Pawar, and they are doing a very good job. I thank for their investor service, which has been very good, very lively, and very much cordial and harmonious to all shareholders, always and all the time. Sir, uh, our company has worked very hard in identifying the areas and projects for CSR activities which we have been very good as in the beginning we saw all the farmers and anadata giving thanks year after year and very happy with what we have been doing for them for all these 75 years dear sir i am a shareholder of course as you know with uh, from day one in all data group of companies including this one also and uh, as such i support appointment and the appointments of all the directors as i said warmly welcome Mr. sinha ji also and moreover sir uh, we have, uh, as usual, uh, supported uh, all the resolutions and already voted uh, them in favorably uh, beforehand. So we have a total trust, confidence in the board of directors, and we will always keep on supporting you uh, till our lifetime. So small things which I would like to know, sir. First is for this year now, see what is our CSR and R&D expenditure, sir. Second, sir, what is our employees turnover rate? What is our male-female ratio of employees? And how many, what is the attrition rate of our employees and how many physically challenged employees we have got in our uh, employees scheme now? Sir, uh, what is approximately, if you can give, sir, what is the CapEx plan for this year and the next? And how many new products we have launched this year? And how many are in the pipeline? Sir, I would like to know one thing. Sir, how many shares and how much dividend we have transferred to IEPF and Investors Monetary Protection Fund this year? Sir, uh, and uh, uh, I would uh, I would request one thing, sir. Sir, why we have sold our Tata Group of Share Registry, Tata Share Registry or TSR Darasha, all to this link in time. See, for all Tata group of companies, if we keep Tata share registry, it was nothing like that. Everybody was very happy. So um, we would like to know the reason for having done having been done this and in what way we are going to improve upon this. Uh, so rest all is all right, sir. We are very happy with whatever the way the company is doing under your expert guidance, sir, uh, year after year. And I'm very sure Tata, you are going to give much and much reward to shareholders after completion, at the time of completing this 75 years, which is a platinum jubilee year in the coming year. And rest all, uh, you are doing very good. And I'm very happy with your day-to-day's work. And we are always there with you till we exist on the earth. And even after that also, sir, always along with you. Thank you very much, sir. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Anwar. And we wish you, sir, very, very special, long, healthy, wealthy, safe life to the total management and all executive staff and all my shareholders in the days to come, along with a very bright future under your expert guide, expert hands in the days to come. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you with the choices, blessings from our side and from Almighty's side also. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Tiwari. I now invite Ms. Smita Shah. Ms. Meeta Shah is not able to unmute, so we'll come back. Smita Shah is not able to join right now. We Okay, we will invite Smita again later.
in the meanwhile may i invite mr bharat shah mr bharat shah please mr bharat shah is also facing technical problem okay i now invite mr vinod agarwal me can you hear me hello yes we can hear you faintly but we can I'll start my video also i'm starting my video yep uh, respected uh, chairman mr bhaskar bhaji our md and ceo sanjeev lal and mr mukandam from a parent company uh, tata chemicals and uh, cfo subha subha gorisaria and the cs shrikant nayar ji good morning and afternoon we come almost it's afternoon now sir to everyone sir i voted for all the four resolutions in today's uh, agm sir i'm pleased that the company is celebrating a 75th uh, agm today in we are in the 75th i think so we are doing a virtual one but uh, the ministry of corporate affairs has given us an option it is not a mandatory dictate that you have to hold a meeting only via virtual uh, system it is an option given to the company i hope we could have uh, taken a um, physical meeting also because the company the mca doesn't bar you from holding a um, physical meeting sir uh, okay now coming on to the other th things sir uh, we the annual report uh, and even the, the ceo mentioned that we have done about 188 crores of capital work in progress i think so that would have been uh, towards the dhaiji two plant that we are putting a one in scz and one in uh, the cd cz at uh, the the two plants and uh, sir, uh, what would be the further uh, capex that we are likely to do in the coming year we have done mostly through the internal accruals uh, last year and uh, this is my one uh, query and uh, our r and d facilities sir may we are doing uh, gm modified uh, on uh, crops for uh, maize and uh, tomatoes we have applied and uh, there was also reports of uh, mustard bean going into being applied for uh, getting uh, gm approval sir are we likely to go into the mustard uh, gm uh, approval also sir and uh, everyone was talking about millets sir we already have uh, products for millets and uh, i am hopeful that we'll be able to do a lot of work on the a csr activity has done a uh, forestation of 71 acres of uh, uh, barren land into a forestation sir which is a good thing sir and uh, sir we got five plants earlier we used to have one plant in uh, dera basi sir uh, how long ago did we sell off um, because uh, uh, that 75 years which you have given in the earlier uh, five four five pages mentioned one plant at uh, dera basi which is no longer shown uh, within the current uh, system of operations so we would have sold it back sometime back i don't know when it would have been sold off and you know, what happened to that another thing sir uh, this is a little technical and uh, i don't know i don't like asking such quick questions on the in public for us but uh, we have sold one uh, flat uh, which uh, for which we are showing up uh, the capital gain of uh, 61 lakh rupees sir now i would like to know what was the flat which area it was located in um, it, 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 this is the 61 uh, lakh uh, uh, which has been shown as uh, capital gain uh, exceptional item would be over the book value of, uh, of the flat you know i would like to know what was the area of the flat and which area in uh, locality or the flat located in because the property prices have shot up uh, tremendously over the past years so uh, i uh, i don't like asking such question because uh, it's uh, too personal you know like uh, uh, these things and uh, sir i'm fond of you we meet you in uh, titans also and every time i'm there sir and uh, sir i another thing i request you sir apna as uh, you are the conductor of the meeting sir give 3 minutes time to the speaker don't give them more than 3 minutes the other companies just cut them off beyond 3 minutes if got they got the each and every page to ask questions from and ask them via email sir you have told them you have come they will be replying via email sir so this is not the decorum for people to speak for 12 12 13 minutes and it is 10 10 minutes sir this is not the forum sir it if you are at the end of the meeting even your board of directors are sitting out there sir it would take them an hour extra to come and sit in the meeting which is an a very highly valuable uh, talent sir for them to sit out here one hour extra it takes time in the valuable time sir 
I would suggest that the, the moderator follow those three minutes uh, norm for a meeting, sir. They cut me off also if I'm going beyond three minutes, sir. I would suggest that this would be the decorum of the meeting, sir. This is, uh, and tell your other uh, people in the other tight, uh, Tata groups also, not to give more than three minutes to anyone, sir. Not to me also, sir. I don't ask for that, sir. That is the decorum of the meeting because people at the end, they suffer. You are sitting for an hour extra. I'm sitting for an hour extra. It takes time, sir. Thank you, sir. I wish the company all the best, sir. Thank you, Mr. Agarwal. Just to answer the last bit, you know, this is the one opportunity and forum for shareholders to engage. I fully agree with you on the limited limited time, but it has to be a self-applied discipline. I would be reluctant to stop a speaker in between. But yes, we have to find a way because shareholders speaking early for long must understand that there are others waiting. But let me assure you that the board of directors is not tired of sitting through listening to shareholders. It is not for us. It is really for people who speak later that earlier shareholders have to be a little more sensitive. Thank you for your input. May I invite Mr. Manoj Agarwal? Mr. Manoj, you can speak. Hello. Am I audible to you? Yes, Mr. Manoj, you are audible. Uh, I'm trying to start with you, just a minute, sir. Anyway, uh, good afternoon and namaskar to chairman leadership team and my dear colleagues. Uh, this is Manoj Garwal, a proud shareholder of rallies. In the interest of time, I'll uh, come straight to the point. I have only three questions. Uh, number one, reason for decreasing return on equity vis-a-vis -vis, uh, industry peers, because uh, that industry peers are commanding return on equity 21% uh, to 15%, but rallies, uh, ROEs, ranging between 10 to 5%. Uh, what is the specific reason for such a decreasing ROE vis-a-vis -vis industry peers? Second point is how well our company is geared up to face technical disruption in the industry, like uh, facing challenge of agri drones, organic farming and other things. Third point is what are our plans for generating sustainable growth and what are the growth opportunities we are eyeing for in future to increase our return, of, uh, return on equity? These are the three main points which, uh, for which I just want to have the answers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Agarwal. I come now to Mrs. Celestine Mascarenas. Hello. 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 Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Hello. You are audible, Miss Mascarina. You are. Ah, accessible. Huh? Yes. Not yes. visible now. Yes. Yeah, I'm visible. No, I'm very happy. I can see you. I'm so happy. I used to see you in trend to IMC uh, meeting and always little dialogue with you. Of course, this is miss missing, but it is this is the current what is required. And at least I am happy as a senior citizen. I I can sit in my home, relax, take my tea, and uh, express myself. Maybe a little short that that will do enough. You know? But as we grow old, we find uh, communication. I mean, traveling is a big hassle. You know. So this what we have is also good. It should be actually uh, both like, you know, you can do that arrangement, you know, who wants physically, you know. Now I come to that. Respected Chairman Baskar Bhatt, MD and uh, CEO, Mr. Sanjeev Lal and other board members, 
my fellow shareholders attending this VC. I am Mrs. C. E. E. Maskurainas attending from Mumbai. First, I thank the company secretary, Mr. Shrikan Nair, and especially Teals. I have heard his team. I have got full appreciation to the team because they are so, so good interacting and uh, telling that today also she said that today you have to attend i said yes 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 but i mean now we are getting old no so sometimes in our household daily chorus we we tend to forget also you know so this is a very good link i am very happy about it you know then uh, i also thank the uh, secretarial team for registering me as a speaker at my request on this occasion, great occasion of the Platinum Jubilee and uh, uh, rallies has gone through a long, rough weather. I am aware of all so many years and how even our rally house had to be given away to our big brother. But sir, you team had made it. You made a great uh, development in our company and I am so proud that we have completed 75 years. Now I come towards the annual report full of pictures of the bygone days. It's so nice to see. And also with that facts and figures and also self-explanatory, adhering to all the norms of corporate governance. Now I come to the working, very good revenue up, good dividend, whatever it is, 2.50. I have definitely good market cap. And uh, as this is Platinum Jubilee, I would say that Platinum Jubilee will go. Now we'll have to wait for century, uh, century, you know. So I, I request the board sincerely that you give some bonus, which I can say my company has given me with all the hardship, with all, or because my husband also was working and he had a lot of hassles that have become. So because of the downsizing, you know, all this. But today we can see this company will go to any heights. Now, I congratulate for all the awards and accolades received during the year, all documented. Very good CSR work. I find that we are connected with two and a half million farmers that only can speak the level. That is also a big, because farmers means Kisan or Jawans. They are the backbone of the country. And we are serving two and a half million now. Maybe in, up next year, it will be double this figure. When I, when I see that the farmers are taken care because they are the one who provide us our food. We sit in the cities, but the food comes from there. And many a times the food prices are not proper. I feel very sorry for it, you know. So, I, and you are in this, I'm very happy. Now I come to the name because I am now nearly, I think, last or what, I don't know. Because many points are covered by many of my earlier speakers. So I have seen about ESG. I come to ESG, I was just feeling that was lacking. You did spe uh, sp uh, speak in your speech and the uh, CEO also about the ESG. Uh, you have gone, you are doing a lot on it. You have brought the carbon foot footprints. You will be bringing down the carbon footprints uh, by 30% uh, in uh, 2030. How much did you bring down this year? That is one question. That uh, ESG platform, have you gone for rating? Uh, if it is rated, then if it is a very good rating, then are you thinking of listing some on some ESG platform to get a get better value? So this is one question. Then another one is how much we earn through contact manufacturing services? How much margin we get? from our exports because exports have increased. Last but not the least, now as 75 years completed, what is the roadmap for the next 25 years? And what we can see our great rallies, what, which, whether it will become in uh, one in the crown of Tata conglomerate, just like TCS, can we look at that way? Last, I support all the resolutions I wish my company all the best and especially I wish you all very good health. Now, Mr. Mascarenas, my husband, he is also a shareholder. He wants to give just gratification. I will speak two words, sir. I have been with this uh, company for the last 40 years. I have seen the ups and 
down, both as an employee and as a shareholder. I have seen this company and I see it growing, shining. So I wish my company, the board of directors, and more importantly, all the employees, all the very best. So my good wishes were there, will remain forever. With this, sir, thank you very much for patient hearing. Sir, we want to see rallies like Titan or Titan, you know. It is food. I want to only look at at least that. If not bonus, it should be another Titan in the making, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. and Mr. Mascarinus. Mascarinus. I now request uh, those two, three speakers who could not participate. Mr. Dinesh Bhatia, may I invite you? Mr. Dinesh Bhatia. Sounds like Titan. Why not Ray? Mr. Dinesh, you can speak. Mr. Dinesh is still facing technical issue. My goodness. Very unfortunate. Mr. Dinesh Bhatia, we'll wait for you. In the meanwhile, may I, I hope Ms. Smita Shah has been able to overcome the technical challenges. Or we have been able to help her. Ms. Smita Shah? Yeah. Thank Hello? You. Yes, yes, Mr. Shah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Manya Chairman, sir, Sri Bhaskar ji, MD Sri Sanjeev ji, or Anya Manya Directors, sir, Bombay se Ms. Smita Shah baat karti hoon. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Sir. Ah, ji, sir. Thank you. Sir, excellent performance, awards, and 75th AGM ki baut baut badai aur abhinandan, sir. Sir, 75th year ke liye, shareholder ke liye, aapne kya socha hai? Baut sare shareholders ne aapko baut kuch sujao to de hi diya hai. To at least, sir, aaj 75th AGM thi, to at least shareholder ke saath AGM और गेट टुगेदर दोनों साथ में कर देते थे तो बहुत अच्छा रहता था और आज आपको एक फेस टू फेस मिलने का भी मौका हमें मिल जाता था तो आप सर जरूर 75th ईयर के निमित्त शेयर होल्डर के लिए गेट टुगेदर जरूर करें और 1 plus 1 बोनस भी जरूर दीजिए बाकी तो डिविडेंड आपने भले कम दिया फिर भी शेयर होल्डर को दिया है शेयर होल्डर का ख्याल रखकर जो दिया so, dividend ke liye baut baut dhanyavad. Aur, sir, previous years mein, EBIT ka earning per shares kam to is saal mein raha hai. Phir bhi, revenue aapka baut acha growth mein hai. So, sir, hum mein to pura barosa hai ki aapki leadership aur puri board team, employees sabhi ki kaafi mehnat aur hard work ke saath. To, aane wale futures mein bhi, humari release company achche excellent growth ke saath aage badegi, badegi. ये मेरा विस पूरा विश्वास के साथ ईश्वर से मेरी प्रार्थना करते हुए मेरी ओर से फ्यूचर की डेरो डेरो सुपकामनाएं भी मैं देती हूँ और सर आने वाले एटलिस्ट पांच साल के फ्यूचर्स प्लान थोड़ा हाइलाइट्स कीजिए बाकी तो जहाँ विश्वास है तो कोई सवाल ज़्यादा नहीं बनता क्योंकि ऑलरेडी और मेरे आगे भी कई लोग हमारा सिर्फ इतना जरूर कहने का हक बनता है जो मैंने पहले भी किए दिया और अभी भी मैं कहती हूँ कि सर 75 साल का गेट टुगेदर ना भूलते हुए करें शेयर ओलर को प्रत्यक्ष बुलाते हुए जरूर आपसे मुल मिलने का मौका दीजिए ये इवेंट जरूर कीजिए साथ में सर आपके आ, मेरे आगे भी कई शेयर ओलर ने जब प्लांट विजिट का बोला है तो प्लांट विजिट और वन प्लस वन बोनस ये सब कुछ जरा जरूर करिए सर सर देने से आपका भी बहुत बहुत बढ़ेगा सर तो जरूर आप इसका ख्याल रखें लास्टली हमें तो आज आपका फोर टाइम आपसे दूरी दर्शनी ये सेवेंटी फिफ्थ में हो रहे हैं तो आ, सर हम ये वर्चुअल एजीएम में मिल रहे हैं तो लेकिन 
इसमें हमें जो वर्चुअल में आपके साथ जुड़ने के लिए जो मौका दे रही है तो उसके लिए मैं पूरी सेक्रेटरी टीम का मैं उनका सहयोग जो हमें मिल रहा है बहुत ही आपके साथ सही लिंक भेजे हमें जो फिजिकल कॉपी भेजी तो मैं कंपनी सेक्रेटरी श्री श्रीकांत जी मिस प्रिया जी और पूरी सेक्रेटरियल टीम के लिए मैं उनकी गुड एक्सेलेंट इन्वेस्टर सर्विस के लिए तारीफ करते हुए आभार व्यक्त करती हूँ धन्यवाद सेक्रेटरियल टीम और बस अभी तो हमें आपसे रूबरू मिलने की तमन्ना है तो सर नेक्स्ट ईयर की एजीएम हाइब्रिड करें सर ताकि लोकल शेयर होल्डर को जो नहीं आ सकते हैं या और बाहर के भी उनको भी मौका मिले और सर जो हम तो आत्मीय तक का बढ़ाव चाहते हैं तो अभी चार साल से दूरदर्शन दूरी दर्शन करते सर हम तो सिद्धि विनायक के पास रहते हैं तो अभी तो वो भी ऑनलाइन बंद हो गया सर दर्शन अभी रूबरू दर्शन करते तो सर थोड़ा आप के लिए जरूर सोचे और फेस टू फेस नेक्स्ट ईयर एजीएम जरूर बुलाए और हाइब्रिड करें ताकि सभी मौका मिले बाकी तो सर ऑलवेज हमारा आपके हो सपोर्ट रहा है सो आज के सभी रिजोल्यूशन में मैं फुल्ली स्ट्रॉन्गली सपोर्ट करते हुए सर जरूर जरूर मिलेंगे हम साथ साथ तब तक रहे आप सभी गुड हेल्थ के साथ धन्यवाद सर सर चालू रखिए बहुत अच्छा बात करते है थैंक यू हाँ जी मुझे आवाज आ रहा है ना मेरा हाँ जी हाँ जी आपका नाम है माननीय चेयरमैन श्री और अन्य मान्य डायरेक्टर सर मेरा नाम भरत शाह सर मैं बरसों से आपका शेयर होल्डर रहा हूँ बरसों से एजी मेंटेन करता हूँ सर मेरी कोई क्वेरी नहीं है सर क्योंकि आप न्यूट्रली कंपनी चला रहे हो सर हमेशा शेयर होल्डर को रिस्पेक्ट दिया है आपने शेयर होल्डर का इसको ख्याल रखा है सर और अच्छा गुड रिटर्न दिया है सर मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मानता हूँ और भगवान ईश्वर को प्रार्थना है अपनी कंपनी दो दिन दो गुनी रात चौक गुनी आगे बढ़े सर और सर सी एस एक्टिविटी भी बहुत अच्छी चल रही है एक मानव का का करे मैं उसके लिए भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सारे एवर्स के लिए भी सर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और सर सेवेंटी फाइव की मैं मैं अभिनंदन देता हूँ और इसमें पहले जो शेयर ने बोला ऐसा ही मैं बोलता हूँ कि सर फैक्ट्री विजिट जरूर ये साल रखना सेवेंटी फाइव से और फैक्ट्री विजिट करें सर आप भी साथ में रहना तो बहुत मीन्स एक आत्मीयता का बड़ा होगा और जरूर फैक्ट्री विजिट रखना और सर गेट टूगेदर जैसा होगा तो आज जो एटलीस्ट आज जो स्पीकर अटेंड हुए तो गेट टूगेदर करना सर और सर नेक्स्ट ईयर जरूर फिजिकल मीटिंग करना साथ में हाइब्रिड करना सर गवर्नमेंट ने दोनों बोला है कि कर सकते हो तो आप हाइब्रिड करना तो सर बाहर गांव के शेयर होल्डर को भी लाभ मिलेगा और फिजिकल अपन साथ में मिलेंगे एक आत्मीयता का बड़ा होगा ये इसका दूरी जैसा सर लगता है जरूर नेक्स्ट ईयर फिजिकल मीटिंग रखना बाकी सर कंपनी सेक्रेटरी श्रीकांत जी उनकी टीम के प्रिया जी और पूरी हार्ड वर्किंग टीम को मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर बहुत हार्ड वर्किंग टीम है सर और हमेशा शेयर होल्डर को रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं शेयर होल्डर की कैरी सोल्व करते सर गुड इन्वेस्टर सर्विस दे रहे तो मैं पूरी श्रीकांत जी प्रिया जी और उनकी पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और सर आने वाले त्योहारों के मैं शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ और सारे रिजोल्यूशन में सर मेरा पूरा सपोर्ट है सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच जय हिंद सर जय हिंद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू भरत भाई मे आई लेट्स ट्राई टू गेट मिस्टर दिनेश भाटिया मिस्टर दिनेश भाटिया is facing technical issues oh very still okay in case he is able to solve them we will uh, we would certainly like to hear him out in the meanwhile he was the last person actually we will start answering the questions and uh, in between if you are able if he is able to get through we can take a pause in answering first of all i'd like to preface this answer session break it up into two parts which is uh, it is really heartening to hear the shareholders first of all for your patience in participating in uh, analyzing the company's performance in appreciating the company's outcomes and the efforts taken by the management and its employees and the large ecosystem of rallies india limited thank you for your 
for reposing your trust and cementing your relationship with this company. It is our responsibility, of course, always as always, to be responsible, uh, to be a responsible corporate, not just because we belong to this great group called the Tata Group. So thank you for your inputs. And the 75th year has been a very significant year, albeit the economic performance having dropped. All your suggestions, the various suggestions on bonus shares, gifts, get-togethers, factory visits, dividend, special dividend, all these are, we've heard you, and we will debate amongst ourselves how best to take each one of these forward, especially the plant visit may be the easiest to deal with in a certain manner. I want to talk about, I think many of you have spoken about where, what lies ahead for rallies. So let me briefly just address that before going to the shareholder by shareholder query. We are in a space as an industry and as the opportunity, a very large opportune space when we are in agriculture. And although we have faced a few challenges in the last couple of years on growth, and as some people pointed out on return on equity compared to return on net worth equity declining in the last couple of years, and now this year coming down to 5.3%. What the management and the board of directors and the entire company has been focusing on is getting ready for the future, a future which obviously is bright, and making sure that we make the right investments today for a bright future. So whether you look at manufacturing capacity build up, whether you look at diversifying our product portfolio, whether you look at uh, digitalizing the whole company, embracing new technologies, whether it is AI, ML, or enabling the field force to connect, enabling farmers to connect through the digital medium, a whole lot of work is underway. Many of these will bear fruit in the near term future, but all of this is oriented towards the future. The second and almost 12 to 14 shareholders have complemented this company on its CSR and Community Connect and social uh, responsible uh, corp as being a responsible corporate. Thank you all of you for that. It really energizes the management to continue this good work, uh, which is so important uh, in India. We serve a large number of farmers, and they are the ones who actually, again, inspire this company. You heard our distributors, you heard some of the uh, users of our product, how happy they are uh, with uh, the company. Yes, we are in a way painfully aware of the size and profitability of this company. And we can assure you, assure you Sanjeev and I will deal with each of those on in terms of the cost increases and so on and that have been brought up by every one of you. So the overall theme I want to share with you is a future orientation in this company, pivoting it clearly into agriculture, and how we are facing uncertainty in a very broad sense, let me tell you. It is not just an India-centered business. It is going to be overseas as well as contract manufacturing, apart from the India agriculture piece. Apart from that, building capacity, which is flexible capacity, if you ask me. The multipurpose plant is for flexible capacity. It is ready, but it will bear fruit over three years, so there has to be some patience amongst all of us to see that bear fruit, but let's hope it grows much faster, the business. And the last thing is investment in technology, digital, 
becoming a smarter agricultural player, agriculture player than everyone else. And you know that the Tata Group has tremendous capability and the management has already been working. And you have seen all those uh, apps which Sanjeev uh, spoke about. Therefore, the future is bright. It is upon us to grab that great future. The future is bright for India and certainly for the Tata group. So let me get to the specific speakers. Thank you, uh, Dr. Bopanna, for appreciating our Jaldhan and Unnat Gram uh, initiatives and their dedicated research lab for crop. I just want to address one part of your input, which is reducing production. Actually, output in this country has gone up. Agriculture output has gone up to 330 million tons, actually, from 315 million tons. What we lack, as some of the other speakers, one of them did uh, refer to, is uh, productivity. It is productivity which is nowhere near the global uh, excellence that has been achieved by other countries. Climate change is affecting us, and the way we are dealing with it is to diversify our risks and therefore addressing multiple geographies, multiple through multiple products and multiple categories, if you if you ask me. The specifics of that are available in the annual report as well as in the presentation that Sanjeev made, but we will we will uh, clarify to you specifically. Rainfall, snowfall, hailstorms, temperature patterns, yes, all of these are new, but the company has been actually preparing itself over the years. We have seen, as uh, Mr. Sailesh Mahadevia spoke about it, we are in a business which is cannot seek a continuous uh, steady growth, but it is our job to ensure that we are sustainable and we carry on not for 75 years, but 100 years and more. GST revenues have gone up. Yes, that is across the country. We are at uh, 150,000. Uh, 150,000 uh, per, per month GST collections, uh, 150 lakh crores per month uh, in the country. And uh, on uh, any investments in startups, yes, you know that uh, we had collaborated with Garuda Aerospace in one example of engagement with a startup. We have also parted, partnered with a few on the agri e -com platform. On the volume price opportunity available, global and domestic trend indicates that volume will be a key. It, volume will always be a key, and we are pursuing that. There is no opinion in this. We have to pursue, pursue volume and manage our costs. The scale available for this company is still very, very large. And we cannot be playing in a small uh, volume, uh, with small volume. Internet and email have eliminated the costs of physical communication. <laughs> yes, uh, we are not, we are tech savvy, but we are not uh, only tech oriented when it comes to communication. Sanjeev and his team, including at times, I and directors have face-to-face -face meeting, not just with employees, even with our stakeholders. So yes, we will keep it alive, not just uh, through technology and emails. On the merger with Tata Chemicals, there is no such um, talk or discussion going on. These are, yes, Rallys is a subsidiary, but in a very different space. and. Should the need arise, should there be a strategic need, only then it will be under consideration. Right now, Rallys is independent. It's a listed company and in a very different space. But works closely with Tata Chemicals' uh, 
competencies in a way in manufacturing, in business excellence, and several other areas as a good uh, parent does. There's contribution in those areas from Tata Chemicals. I think uh, I have answered your question on Vistara. So <laughs> that's another. Is there anything you want to add? Nothing. Yeah. Mr. Gupta, Mr. Manoj Kumar Gupta, again, you spoke about turnover is up and profit is going down, dividend is also going down. It was a very specific discussion on dividend. And I must say that we have, it's not just, uh, yes, it's a drop, but a 53% payout was a conscious decision we took in the board because these are single years in which performance drops and shareholder interest we have kept at heart. And this is one of the highest payouts that we've had in several years. Our strategy remains on track in strengthening our manufacturing capacities, widening our reach and extending our portfolio. That is how we are de-risking the future. We have taken necessary steps in the seeds business. I think there was another uh, shareholder we, who spoke about what's your strategy for this seeds business. We will deal with that in a short while, but to bring it back to profitability and growth will be the effort. What is the future plan in the next two, three years? We are focused on becoming shockproof, as I said, and we will augment our distribution, that is the retailer footprint, and I've already told you about preparing digitally. Uh, solar power, well, we, we spoke about it. Last year, we generated 30% of our energy from renewable energy. And we all we are already utilizing solar energy at the Hage, uh, Ankleshwar, and the Kola factories. We are implementing in the Hage and also wind solar hybrid system in Ankleshwar. So thankfully, because we are with the Tata group, there are there is another Tata company which is aggressively investing in renewables and we are working with them. I think on rewarding for the 75th year, I have already covered that all your inputs on bonus shares and uh, special dividend, etc., cetera, are uh, uh, suggestions we have taken note of. Uh, my product, I have noted your suggestion. Uh, thank you for pointing that out to give advertisement, etc. Thank you for that input. Uh, on competition, maybe I'll ask uh, Sanjeev to deal with this because there's a very operating uh, question. May I request Sanjeev to answer? Yes, sir. No, thank and you. anything else that we may have left out? Yeah. Uh, so actually, uh, agrochemicals is a, uh, is a segment where we've got multinationals as well as uh, Indian companies. Uh, our current market share is about 5.7% uh, uh, and the the share the market share of the largest company is just about 12 13% so it's a really high, highly fragmented uh, market and we have got uh, our own uh, portfolio which we are continuously working on to deal with some of the emerging uh, challenges that the farmers are facing uh, r and d efforts are on to come up with highly differentiated products and we are collaborating uh, with um, some of the uh, global innovators to bring their molecules into our formulations for the benefit of the farmers. And as I had pointed out in my presentation, we've had two such products that we launched during FI23, uh, which were co-developed along with one of the innovators of those molecules. So we'll continue continue our effort in uh, bringing better products uh, to the uh, to the farmers for them to be able to get the benefit. Back to you, Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Praful Chavda, you had a lot of inputs and, uh, you know, your point about special scheme for customers in the 75th year, as well as for employees, again, well understood and uh, taken on record. And your appreciation of our CSR and especially your statement that shareholder will support our CSR activity is very encouraging. 
the plant visit to the hedge i have uh, spoken about it we'll see what best we can do on your very right on the ed uh, educating on technical skills i think the whole country is challenged on insufficient skilled uh, labor or people being available on skills that are required uh, we have spoken about it especially new age skills which is in the digital space technology space not just as we speak about in another world which is manufacturing which is about welding and plumbing and um, uh, carpentry and so on and so forth new age skills are very important we take that uh, into account on the samskriti bit i think it is uh, understood but exec it's not on our on our radar uh, certainly i think if anything it would be indian culture and tradition if at all we and we really don't know in what way we should execute on that but thank you for the input uh, the permanent employee increase percentage that you have suggested uh, i think mr sanjeev can answer that uh, so uh, we do uh, build our um, talent pipeline uh, through um, both our own internal um, growth opportunities for uh, employees as well as some lateral recruitment as well and you had also inquired about uh, long service awards uh, for our employees so we do recognize a long service uh, of our colleagues who have been with us for uh, 10 years 20 years 25 years 35 years and even some of those who reach uh, a 40 year um, milestone so there are uh, recognitions that we have for that as well thank you uh there are there have been uh, at least three shareholders who have talked about millet and are and are efforts at millet especially after the prime minister's announcement and that millet prices are high yes millet is a very very promising uh, uh future for us and we have plans we already have products so maybe sanjeev can you so, uh, we have a, a very good uh, set of hybrids in the millet category and um, uh, i would say we, today we are amongst the top 3 uh, players in the hybrid millet uh, category and uh, it is an important crop uh, as it is emerging even the government is supporting um, distribution of millets through the public distribution system uh, so we will continue to work and uh, build a portfolio around these coarse grains uh, which is finding favor uh, not only in india but i think also globally uh, these coarse grains are finding a, a lot of uh, traction thank you the next four millennium mams shweta single swati choudhary krishma shah and avina rajgaria thank you for very very specific questions and inputs you have been trained well and you articulate very well well the 800 crore capex is yes it's seeing the tail end right now but the company has continuous capex uh, investment programs not just in manufacturing as you rightly said even in in the digital space and sometimes even in investments in uh, in startups so on the average we look at about 200 crores uh, per year somewhere between 150 to 200 and there are plans for investment in manufacturing uh we spoke to you you asked about garuda aerospace i think we have uh, we have covered that ground it is uh, a drone invest a, com a dr company which makes drones and we've already started maybe sanjeev you can yeah so we've uh, done uh, a couple of pilots to really demonstrate to the farmers the benefit of using drones for agrochemical spraying uh, because i think it's very important for the farmers to see the value of that and what we also finding is that in uh, some of the uh, areas where there is a, a limitation on the availability of labor for agrochemical spraying the drone use of drones is can uh, pick up very well and it is also having a very positive uh, response uh, 
in the long term, the way we see uh, uh, drones moving forward, at least from our perspective, is uh, there's an ecosystem that uh, needs to get built up of uh, entrepreneurs in the rural area who will make available these services uh, to the farmers evolved in terms of other farm equipment hiring services. This will become another of those uh, uh, equipment that can be hired for uh, the application services. Thank you. The seed portfolio, how it's going to change, I think, again, I mentioned it briefly, but in a little bit more detail, maybe, Sanjeev, on the question on seed portfolio, because it's been a matter of concern for all shareholders that it has declined. So what are we doing about it? Yeah. So on our seeds portfolio, uh, you know, we have been uh, developing various types of hybrids for different uh, agroecological zones for agroclimatic zones within within India. And um, some of these hybrids have uh, performed very well. And some of these hybrids have not really performed to the uh, level that was expected. And that is why some of the uh, hybrids that we were uh, developing, which have not performed, we have had, had to do the impairment. Apart from that, a lot of our hybrid seed program, which we are uh, developing, is uh, linked to the kind of climate effects that we are seeing, whether it is uh, drought-resistant kind of products or whether it is early maturity kind of products, and even whether there is uh, opportunity for heat-tolerant uh, products. For example, we've seen last year, uh, I would say year before last, the wheat crop had got significantly impacted because the the temperatures had risen much earlier than what it is expected, and we got a almost five six percent drop in yield in the wheat crop. So we are also working on some of these hybrids, which are addressing some of the climate effects, which is becoming more of a reality as we are as we are moving forward. So we are very uh, sharply focused on um, largely uh, uh, our field crops, which are uh, cotton, paddy maize, millet, and, and mustard. And we have reduced the efforts in our vegetable seed hybrid portfolio, limiting it largely to gourds and tomatoes to have a very sharp focus on our investments that we are making as well as the outcomes that we are expecting. On international revenue and contract manufacturing, I think we have made specific investments and we have seen traction in international. We now have new customers as well as new registrations which we which will help us grow faster now the the percentage 37 to 40 percent is an estimate we've made and as sanjeev has been talking about it's a very uncertain future and the way we look at the business is in domestic international contract direct product sales just to be able to ensure that this company is sustainable and some will grow faster and some not so fast. So all I want to say is on international, there's a separate effort on contract manufacturing, separate effort, investments have been made and the outcomes will be better than today. But what percentage, whether it will reach 40%, I'm not saying is, is anybody's guess, but it's a plan. So, so I would leave it there. And... Yeah, the brand presence uh, you talked about is strong. We have to leverage it. Thank you for that input uh, uh, on the uh, Ms. Rajgaria. Mr. Sailesh Mahadevi, Mahadevia, as usual, uh, you've been such a strong, strong shareholder, committed shareholder, and uh, appreciating our BRSR efforts and the integrated report. And uh, from, on behalf of the entire board, I appreciate your, your observation that all board members have attended all board meetings. That's the kind of observation that keeps the board of directors also inspired. Thank you for that. Uh, the question on AI, I mean, it's not artificial intelligence, but... Uh, active, I think active ingredients. Active ingredients. I'd like, uh, because it's very technical and it's a very, very good, you spent a lot of time, obviously, in uh, researching this uh, subject. I'd like a detailed response from Sanjeev. Thank you, sir. Uh, so on the active ingredients, um, we have been manufacturing a 
almost seven, eight of these AIs um, in our own facilities. But I would just like to also update that th there are close to about 600 uh, active ingredients that are available globally, and about 270 of them are uh, registered in India. Uh, so there is no single company which can manufacture all of them. So there is a lot of um, um, purchase procurement that happens of some of the active ingredients for um, formulating into the uh, products that we sell under our brand. Uh, so we do um, buy a number of active ingredients, both locally as well as from uh, global uh, trading companies. Uh, so that is the, the way we are able to add more products uh, to our portfolio. And as I had also mentioned that we have uh, specific partnerships for um, the patented molecules or the very differentiated molecules that are available from some of the global companies for uh, co-development into formulated products which give differentiated advantage in the marketplace. Also, Mr. Mahadevia, your exceptional inputs on uh, millets uh, and your input suggestion that we should develop a marketing as well as a ma as production program for millets uh, and your specific uh, word of grab the opportunities is very, very encouraging. Uh, journey of millets, we will speak about we but we will work on this in in uh, a more detailed manner uh, as you said it is good for climate it's good for employment uh, overall your suggestion on uh, working with uh, padmashri dr khader wali uh, we will take that on board certainly we'll take that on board mr majumdar uh, Thank you for your very detailed analysis of our annual report and your inputs. Uh, overall, I mean, I must deviate a little. Uh, you spoke about Mr. R. Gopalakrishnan, you know, the very noble and wise and intelligent Mr. R. Gopalakrishnan, whose father was, uh, and that, uh, thank you for pointing that I didn't know that. But just as a small uh, trivia, it was Mr. R. Gopalakrishnan who asked me to join the rallies board. So there is a continuity, not father and son continuity, but certainly a guru chela uh, parampara in that. So I'm feeling very good that it is he who thought I, I deserve to be in, uh, in this company. It's a long list, but I will answer one large part of your question, which you spent time and... Uh, on the provision that we've made for the year of 83 odd crores on two subjects. I think this is nothing exceptional. It is part of the group and Rallis' own philosophy. We have to admit reality and there is no point in, in uh, hiding behind for profit. I think it is in the interest of everyone. It is a reality that uh, the, the provision for of uh, 30 odd crores and 53 odd crores that we've made for two different, uh, one is the overstocking in seeds. It was an estimate, wrong estimate made or change in the outcomes uh, in, the, in the marketplace in seeds for which we had to provide. And the earlier we provide, the better off we are. Thank you for, for um, recognizing that. And that will be the company's... Uh, behavior uh, supported by the board very strongly and uh, i think we have a very good set of auditors who will keep advising us and pushing us in the right direction but as a philosophy the company will i don't think we have any view other than you ask us for the view there is no other view but we will let's say our annual report and our PNL and balance sheet will be as true as possible to the reality in the marketplace and our assets will be valued in that in that manner. Uh, the specifics on the percentages, the cost controls, the 
new product introduction. I'll spend a couple of more, one more minute on how do we look at this year. It is uncertain, but you asked about the five and a half months, but I'll tell you about the two and a half months of the first quarter. It is going well as planned. Monsoons haven't yet set in, but we are hopeful that the growth targets we have set for ourselves will be achieved in the year. It is the 75th year plus, actually the 75th year is in August. The, the date is August, so we are in the middle of that. And we do expect that it will be a good year. After a very challenging year from an economic performance point of view. But the headwinds of uncertainty, we cannot ignore. It's this, we cannot close our eyes to that. So preparing ourselves is the, is the mantra in a way. Not So there are two preparations. One is the short term because disruptions occur like almost every quarter. But the bigger uh, attempt is at preparing the company for the longer term. And the long term is not 10 year, it is three to five years. Therefore, all those investments we've made are in that direction. And I am, can confidently say that the year, at least till now, the cautious optimism which I spoke about in the beginning, the optimism has played out. Cautious is behavior. We will continue to be like that. Sanjeev, on the specifics, can you? Yeah, so there were a number of very, very specific uh, questions regarding our sales into North America. Um, uh, one of our products which was exported into North America, which is a PKK polymer product, has uh, restarted in a small way after not having any sales practically for the last uh, two years. Um, you had asked about uh, the margins uh, during the year. Um, uh, we have, to the extent possible, tried to uh, protect our margins. Uh, prices have been extremely volatile uh, uh, during the last year, and they continue to be volatile even this year, with very, very sharp decline in uh, cost of most of the uh, of the of the materials. Uh, on the um, Q1 performance, uh, Chairman has already uh, given his inputs. You had uh, made an observation regarding. Uh, of fungicides and and herbicides so we expect our herbicides uh, category to uh, to do well in fact it was i would say the weakest part of our portfolio a couple of years back but with specific uh, efforts by our r&d team and our uh, marketing team we have been able to grow that category um, quite nicely and i would say it's becoming more important from a labor shortage uh, perspective as well uh, where um, migrant labor is now preferring to um, work in their own home states and therefore uh, uh, becoming not available for some of the agricultural activities. So therefore, de-weeding, removal of weeds from the field, these need to be done uh, through use of chemicals. So we also focused on that as well. Uh, there were a number of uh, questions uh, regarding um, uh, the financial uh, inputs uh, our uh, r&d investments uh, we will continue to be um, uh, increasing uh, over a period of time uh, there is a lot of work which is happening there uh, our traveling expenses uh, you had rightly pointed out has increased because once the normalcy has restored after the pandemic uh, uh, there is a lot of um, movement of our teams in the field uh, so that is also uh, increase the uh, travel expenditure. Um, the provisioning of inventory, uh, Chairman has already responded to. Yeah, there is one on the foreign currency loss. Uh, it's of fifteen crores that has been referred to. I, you know, we do hedge, so yeah. there is nothing uh, really. So there is a hedging policy that There's we have in place policy. and um, we are working well within that policy. And uh, this is reviewed both by the audit committee and also uh, reported to the board uh, at every meeting. So we are using a policy for uh, hedging. 
there was an observation on uh, contingent uh, uh, liability. Uh, so we've made a note of uh, your concern. Um, and as per our legal counsel, um, uh, we have a favorable uh, position regarding some of these uh, liabilities. Mr. Oshit Kumar Pathak, uh, the CapEx program for the next three years uh, you referred to, I think I have spoken about it. We are conscious of in ensuring that we build sufficient capacity for growth, uh, especially in the five manufacturing units that you spoke about, and uh, digital and ESG. All three are high up, but CapEx primarily on manufacturing is more usually because you know hard hard assets are more expensive, whereas digital assets get built. Uh, over a period of time. The Innovation Center and R&D, your encouragement is very, uh, very welcome. Being gone up from 1.79 crores to 1.98 crores. Yes, innovation, I agree with you, is extremely important. Uh, I think on impairment of assets, etc., these are policies the board uh, gets engaged in and takes decisions on along with the auditors and the management and uh, it will continue uh seeds business opportunity is very big i agree with you and we are in the process of you know taking cognizance of the challenges that we face and ensuring that we leverage the opportunities uh you mentioned bonus shares cost control material cost increase all these uh, will be addressed, uh, uh, Mr. Patak. And you mentioned 75 years memento, much like uh, many other shareholders did. We will take note. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bharat Raj, again, uh, your, uh, we, we are, I'm sorry you couldn't receive your annual report. We will make sure that. Uh, one that you receive it and uh, for next year ensure that it's received in time. Thank you for wishing us best for the year and all the suggestions on the 75th year uh, shareholder celebration. As I said, we will take that into account. Mr. Jaydi Bakshi, uh, I think you made an important point on data leakage protection and the vulnerability to uh, weather. I think vulnerability to weather, again, I covered it in very general terms, but let me uh, tell you that if anybody is in this business like we are, we have been used to not weather patterns changing, but India, Indian farmer has always dependent on rain god. Uh, and over the years, we've learned how to deal with that uncertainty. which has a very big TCS that helps us uh, ensure that we build enough firewalls and uh, data leakage is protected. But specifically, is there anything that... Uh, no, we are using the Western class uh, services provided uh, on, um, on um, cyber risk as well as uh, data leakage. Uh, but of course, this is a very uh, area which keeps evolving uh, because uh, the cyber criminals are getting smarter. But I think we are keeping pace with whatever is happening in this space. Thank you. Uh, the, the the point on any new collaborations. I think if I if I were to take collaborations as new new initiatives initiatives with customers overseas as well as startups within we have dealt with that that's a continuing effort but there is no collaboration as such as in setting up some new business uh, uh, there's no collaboration 
Yeah, there's no joint ventures, but there's yeah, no we have a lot of uh, partnerships, as I mentioned, even for accessing some of the very differentiated molecules for co-development of products for our Indian farmers. Mr. Gautam Tiwari, as usual, thank you for all the uh, kudos that you have offered to the company as well as to um, to the management and and uh, as a loyal shareholder, uh, you have been very supportive even this time of all our uh, efforts. On you had questions specifically on attrition, the employment of the physically challenged, and diversity in the company. On specific question like what is the amount that has been transferred to IEPF, uh, I would uh, I, we will we do have that information and we can share it with you. Uh, but on attrition, we don't see a very as as Sandeep uh, as uh, Sanjeev mentioned, we have a very strong employee engagement uh, uh, measured employee engagement in this company. Uh, the number. Do you have the attrition? Yeah, so attrition uh, rates uh, tend to be higher amongst the um, uh, our um, manufacturing teams at the um, at the junior work levels, as well as in some of our sales and marketing. We do have a higher attrition rate, and uh, there was also a query on the um, um, male to female ratio. So uh, in our organization, we have about four percent female employees. And one of the biggest challenges that we have on increasing our uh, women colleagues joining the organization is uh, the limitation as per the act, which prevents uh, female employees from working wherever agrochemicals are mixed. So we are not able to utilize the skills available with uh, uh, women engineers and uh, women colleagues in our manufacturing. But yes, we have started uh, uh, use, uh, using the skill sets and um, uh, including them in our sales force. So th that is uh, one place where we found very good uh, uh, traction and uh, very good response for our recruitment program uh, for the sales and marketing efforts. So we do expect to see increase in our uh, gender ratio uh, becoming more favorable uh, as we um, add more women colleagues to our port, uh, to our uh, card and 12222 shares were transferred to the IEPF uh, that's the specific if you want uh mr vinod agarwal again thank you for your um, suggestion for the virtual agm and uh, hybrid agm and so on uh, future capex i have shared with you mustard being applied for gm approval Delhi University is the applicant for GM Mustard. If it is deregulated, we may choose to partner with Delhi University to leverage our presence in mustard seed through hybrids. The Derabasi plant was closed uh, in the early 2000s and sold. The property, the, la the property has been sold. Capital gains of 61 lakhs on a flat sale is towards the sale of land at Abohar which was not being actively used by the company. It's not a sale of a flat. It is a gain on sale of land. And I think I've already answered your point about three minutes. Um, our view remains. I think uh, we should work together on being sensitive about shareholders who follow. Mr. Manoj Agarwal, I think uh, the very right question, return on equity, both declining as well as being lower than the market. This is painfully uh, uh, you know, known to us. As I said, initiatives without taking any short-term measures, sustainable return, decent return on equity is what we are aiming for. And you will see results in, of, of the actions that we've taken in the next few years. Uh, as I said, the year is, is going well and let's hope that all our initiatives work towards and we will make sure that it will work towards growth. Uh, technological disruption, I think again, it has been covered. We are investing in solutions like Sampark and Drishti. 
including AI and ML and for as well as intelligent automation in our factories. Uh, sustainable growth, I think maybe you can repeat it, but uh, once which was covered in your sure. presentation, but yeah. uh, uh, so uh, fundamentally, uh, port, uh, our portfolio diversification, our uh, investments in manufacturing, our um, investments in expanding our uh, reach to our uh, into the rural uh, heartland, our distributor our retailer network being expanded. And as I mentioned, our portfolio uh, being expanded, as well as our growth of the crop nutrition portfolio. These are all very important for sustainable growth. Um, and of course, our exports business, uh, where we continue to invest in bringing new products for our export portfolio, as well as a partnership for contract manufacturing as well. Thank you. Uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Mascarenas, thank you again for being a very supportive shareholder over the, uh, as I shareholder and stakeholder, I may say. Uh, your question on um, the 30% reduction by 2030 carbon footprint. Uh, carbon foot, CO2 emission intensity reduced from 1.34 uh, metric ton of production per metric uh, metric ton per metric ton of production to 1.28 uh, in FI 22-23. That's the journey it is uh, reducing, and we will we will keep reducing. And that target of 30% reduction by 2030 is is uh, is on the cards. Uh, as far as measurement, uh, we have not done it. Rating on ESG, we have not done it. We will keep that in mind. The margins um, on uh, contract manufacturing and on exports are in line with our overall margin. That's why we need to invest in those so that there is predictability of um, of uh, performance, uh, financial performance in the company. Um, we will continue our mission of serving farmers through science. I think we had Smita Shah. Again, your desire to have face to face and a get together was one more input that you have uh, suggested. Uh, the five year plan, I think we have talked about it uh, uh, as in, you know, how we are preparing ourselves for the future. Uh, bonus, we'll take that into account. Uh, and thank you for supporting us on and wishing us excellent growth in the future. I think we've come to the end. We we'll, we believe Mr. Dinesh Patra is still not able to connect. I'll wait for 30 seconds to see if he's able to connect because he has patiently waited. If it is not, we'll move on with the agenda. Dinesh, you are unmuted. You can speak. It appears that Mr. Dinesh still faces the technical issue. Sorry, Mr. Sorry. Bhatia. I, we will please send us your question by email and I will ensure that they get answered uh, to the best of our ability. I'm sorry you couldn't participate. I now authorize Mr. Srikant Nair, Company Secretary, to conduct the voting procedure and conclude the meeting. The remote e-voting facility, as I said before, will remain open for the next 15 minutes to enable the members to cast their vote. Mr. Bhaskar Upadhyay of NL Bhatia and Associates, practicing company secretaries have been appointed as the scrutinizer for this meeting. I also authorize the company secretary to accept 
acknowledge and countersign the scrutinizer's report and declare the consolidated voting results on receipt of the scrutinizer's report. Results will be announced within the time stipulated from the conclusion of the meeting, and the same would be intimated to the stock exchanges and displayed on the website of the company and NSDL, as well as the notice board at the registered office of the company. I would now like to thank the directors for joining this meeting remotely. And once again, thank shareholders for their commitment to this company, their trust in this company, and for attending this meeting, sharing your valuable suggestion. Now with your consent, the other board members and I, as well as my colleagues here, would like to take leave. Thank you. Take care. Keep safe. Namaskar.
The voting has been kept open for 15 minutes as mentioned by chairman. We now close the same. I would like to confirm that the requisite quorum was present throughout the meeting. The results of the AGM will be announced by the company within the stipulated time. With this, the meeting stands concluded. See you soon. Thank you.